Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is Tuesday. Dr. Chapa is in studio. He's here. We're excited. We're going to talk about health. We're going to be talking about getting better, healing your body with food, maybe even using some exercise or some vacation. We're giving away a cruise today. That video dropped. Kurt, have you had the opportunity to watch the cruise giveaway video? Um, I haven't seen it yet. What does it look like? You need to stop <laughs> what you're doing. <laughs> Didn't you edit that thing? Oh, you yes. need to stop what you're doing and go watch that cruise giveaway video. Like, share, comment. It's going to be a great time. I can't imagine, you know, stumbling across the greatest Facebook in the world, KHEA Radios. Yes. Which happens to be the greatest radio station in the world. Right. KHEA Radio. 99.5. Yeah. Did you have to check the sign to make sure that it was 99.5? <laughs> and then you like, share, and comment on the video. I didn't. Not at all. Somebody's going to win a cruise. I was just making sure that it was still up because things are being rearranged. I hate that we can't see the sign that says 99.5. You could totally put it right there, dude. You're going to be, be okay. You'll be okay, Kurt. <laughs> you can't see the sign. It'll be okay. But somebody's going to win a cruise. It could be you. If you like, share, comment on that cruise giveaway video, we're going to let this one run for a bit. There's already been a huge response, which is really exciting to see. It turns out a lot of people need a vacation. I would From say that your is vacation true. edge. Why is it that so many people need a vacation? It's because we lived in a stressed, fast-paced society? Very stressed. Very fast-paced. And yes, everybody needs a cru uh, cruise to de-stress and enjoy. I mean, have you ever been on a cruise? Well, I went on the boat to film, and that was for a couple hours. Oh, I saw you on that. That looked like you were having a good time. No, I was having an amazing time, it's and we even, didn't even leave the, it, the it, dock. I, it's even better, though, when you're out on the ocean, and you hear the rumble of Ooh. the ship. And it's and you get on the the on the sides of the boat or the back of the boat or the front of the boat. It's where my favorite is. Yeah. And you just see the open grandeur of God's creation. I mean, where can you go? Sunsets, sunrises. I mean, it wow. will blow your socks off. Whenever we were on there filming, the first thing we did was go to the top. We're like, hey, let's start let's start filming. Let's start filming. And we looked over the side of the boat, and dolphins were like, there was jumping. A, there was two dolphins, and I put them on my my Instagram like live. And I was like, Kurt, get this on video. This is all. He's like, I'm living in the moment. I can't do it. And I was like, dude, the camera's right there. It's like in your hand. Pick it up and just like hit record. And you're like, oh, I can't. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I wanted to enjoy well, the dolphins. Say, what are those things about being a camera guy and having to catch footage is that you do have a hard time, you know, living in the moment. Do you ever remember The Secret Life of Walter Mitty? Did you ever watch that? <laughs> Secret Life of, of Pets. No. Well, no. <laughs> I don't know well, it's it's a it's a Ben Stiller, you know, it's a very somber movie. The whole movie is slow as can be, but there was this one spot at the very end where he meets up with his photographer that's giving him all the ins and outs of really cool photography for like Time Life magazine or something. And and this guy was looking for the ghost leopard. Ooh. And 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 so he finally catches up to him out in the middle of nowhere and he just has this perfect opportunity to catch the ghost leopard on Ooh. camera and <laughs> he doesn't do it huh and he doesn't do it you know he, i have seen that movie and he goes why didn't you do it and he goes some things are just left to the unthinkable the imagination kurt you know what that's a movie though whenever i say take out the camera and there's dolphins jumping we're on a cruise ship you gotta you, do it you gotta catch it you gotta <laughs> get uh, that's not that's right that was a movie that was you're in advertising, brother. Kurt, we you are never wow. KG Radio. We're never gonna find me and you. We're never gonna find ourselves on a cruise boat again, ever. Hey, I did see somebody comment on there and was like, "I really hope this isn't a gimmick," you know. And, and I forty five now shared it. Yeah, so it couldn't be right. Yes, but somebody stuck up for us, and they well, were like, "No, these guys they are giving a lot of stuff, and they give it all away. It's and legit. They, they give it away. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it's April Fools was yesterday." So it yeah. can't, it's got to be real. That's why we didn't drop the video yesterday. We usually <laughs> drop giveaway videos on Monday, but I was like, I can't drop this on Monday because everyone will think it's a hoax, and we couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, what you got, Kurt? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. So right now, it's 843. This is KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. We have Dr. Aaron Chapa in studio. He's in studio every Tuesday. We're going to be talking about health. We're going to be talking about wellness. Getting better, being better, feeling better. We're talking a little bit about vacation. Is vacationing, especially cruising, good for your body? Is it good for your soul? We got 15 seconds, and we're going to go into this and get on the FM and let it roll. So let us know. What do you have going on today? Good morning to the Art of Coffee. Good morning, Gretchen. Mandy, Giorgio, Sloppy Nicks and Pomodoros. Good morning, folks. Here we go. 
This is KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. This is Kickstart. I'm Guardy. And I'm Kurt. It's 8.43 a.m. on a Tuesday. We are so excited. We have a ton of stuff going on. First of all, we got Dr. Aaron Chop in studio. Good morning, Dr. Chop. How's it going? Oh, man. Finest frog here over here, man. We are living the dream. We are feeling good, living good, helping people, you know, get to their best version of themselves one bite at a time. I have never seen frog hair. You say that every exactly. time you come well, in that's here. because it's so fine, brother. That's the point, Kurt. So but I want to be so fine that people see me coming around the corner. <laughs> Well, that's because that's, that's, you got to be excited. You got to use that million dollar asset, your smile, and you got to bring Whoa. light to all those <laughs> around us. Wait a second, he might have had something in his. That was garlic. I feel like you may be the opposite of of like smooth coming around the corner. Smooth, you're like abrupt and like eh, either like angry or just like on a mission or happy or just not really like sneaking in. Like, hey, what's up? You're like, I'm here. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like the bear. I'm like, ah. Yeah, a little bit. A you can bit. hear me coming from miles. You could have done that whole Fat Albert uh, just then. Hey, 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 like that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. I am not <laughs> Fat Albert. I'm not fat at all. Well, nobody said that. I'm just that. big bone. He's baby weight. <laughs> it's baby weight. He's still working it off, okay? So we, we have a, a cruise video that dropped this morning. If you're listening on 99.5 FM and you haven't had the opportunity to go to our Facebook page this morning, you need to go check it out. I want to say good morning to all the people who just found out about KHEA Radio this morning, maybe from that video. I-45 now shared out the cruise giveaway video, and I assume there's a lot of people who were exposed to KHEA Radio that haven't been before. So good morning to you. This is your new morning routine. This is the best way you can start your weekday every day. That's a promise. We like to spread positivity. We like to talk to people in the community. Today is no different. We have Dr. Chapa in studio. We're going to be... Talking about health, wellness, eating for yourself, like your body, what's right for you. And then coming up later in the show, we're actually going to take a phone call from a person who's on a cruise right now. Okay. Uh, Josh Edge is going to be calling in. He's one of the people. He works with Karen and the crew at uh, Your Vacation Edge, and he's going to be calling from the cruise ship talking about the giveaway, and we're just wanting to... Have him tell us a little bit more about that giveaway that we're going to have. We're going to show that video later in the show as well. Plus, at 10 o'clock, we're going to have Justin Gambino. He's one of our local artists that we have on all the time. He plays on our radio station, 99.5 FM. You can catch that in and around the area of Lamarck. And uh, he's about ready to go on his worldwide tour where he's going to places like Ireland and, and all over the country and all over the world. So we're going to be talking to him as he gets ready to set sail. On that tour. So, Justin Gambino setting sail on a cruise ship, going all the way to <laughs> Ireland. Can you imagine that combo? Shout out to, to Royal Caribbean if they sponsored Justin Gambino's world tour. He'll be in on 10 o'clock, on in the 10 o'clock hour, talking about where he is going, if he's been on a cruise, and if he recommends one. On a three-day cruise. Isn't there a, a Are you about song? a, yeah, a three-hour tour? Yeah, that's called oh. Gilligan's Island. <laughs> <laughs> Marianne, yeah. the professor too. That was a good show. Yeah, Gilligan's good Island's show. a yeah. great show. No I feel doubt. like they don't make TV like that anymore. No, don't. They definitely don't. You can't. Now it's you know drama, reality, and hardcore. It's about murder. Like yeah. everything's like how oh, I got away with murder, yep. which I'm guilty of watching. And I feel I felt bad. I was like, how to get away? I can't watch this. And then I was like, pulled in. Oops, you know. Yes, it's a good I'm, show. And and sometimes that's, they're always trying to apply to that you know stress factor relief valve that we all. Have and some people are love saga people. Some people are, you know, violence. Some people are cruises. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you've got to find that outlet that helps your body de-stress for sure. And uh, what other things that you know, I would love to go on a cruise more regularly or just a vacation to somewhere where you can just chill and not. And the one thing, cool thing about cruises is like you're kind of trapped on the boat, and so a lot of the week is chilling and sitting and resting and not putting twenty-two thousand steps a day and. And you know, burning the midnight oil, and mm -hmm. it, it's you're you're resting. And a lot of people go on trips, and they come back, and they say, "Man, it took me three days to unwind before I actually started my vacation." And uh, and so it's you know, it's always a, a enjoyable whenever there is a uh, a place, a venue where you can kind of cut loose and relax a little bit. I feel bit. like a cruise is a good way to accidentally gain a good 5 to 10 pounds. Oh, it's definitely... <laughs> uh, that's, that, that would be the one negative, right? Yeah. I mean, is that, Those 22,000 steps you don't darn get. it. Yeah. And, uh, but, yeah, they do feed you quite a bit on a cruise. And uh, But, man, sometimes just looking out in the wild blue yonder mm. is absolutely... You deserve it. Ugh, I mean, it, so definitely like, share, and comment. Don't forget to do all three. Make sure that those three, all three things are done, and you will 
have a chance to win. So this is going to be pretty exciting. Yeah, on that Royal Caribbean cruise ship, there was a workout facility. And it's awesome. It was uh, very nice. Uh, one of the things that I noticed that helped um, actually get me kind of back into the workout routine is I'd go down there every morning at 7 a.m. You know, kids are still sleeping. Wife is still sleeping. Go down there. And uh, when I was on the Royal Caribbean, they even have a, they had a, a freshly made juice bar hmm. uh, where they would make your own fresh juices. And, I mean, you could – you can really have a good good time uh, and start your day well with your exercise routine, stretching routines, uh, and the gym was awesome. You can stay on track yeah. if you have your routine that way. And you're not stressed. You know, So one of the big things that people that are stressed out beyond measure is if any time cortisol is produced, that's, that's a, a hormone that's produced when stress levels are high, then that will sabotage your weight loss. It'll turn off all six fat burning hormones and activate, you know, your fat storing hormones, which you only have three. Is there a way to like jumpstart those fat Stop. fat burning hormones? Of course, yeah. So intermittent fasting is a fantastic way to do that. Um, we love the idea of everybody's familiar with turmeric. Uh, to, we use a product in our office called Turmeric Forte, which is fingry and turmeric mixed together, which is 45 times stronger than, uh, in, uh, or not stronger, but in its absorption capabilities, just taking turmeric alone. A lot of people reach for turmeric and black pepper, but the research is more geared towards the fingry and turmeric is going to be having a, a, a more of an anti-inflammatory uh, mm -hmm. approach and to upregulate the metabolism. Is turmeric only a supplement you can take, or is there natural ways to get it into your diet? You can use turmeric. You can make apple cider vinegar uh, turmeric juices first thing in the morning, like a little lemon, a little uh, turmeric, a little apple cider vinegar, and uh, and a little bit of water, and then chug it down like a little early morning cocktail. And it increases circulation. The challenge, though, is the getting enough to make it therapeutic. And that's the whole you know challenge by using you know mm -hmm. spices in because most spices aren't used therapeutically they're used for flavoring for tasting yeah yes, for t and so you don't wouldn't want the amount of turmeric it would take in your food spiced wise you know therapeutically it, it would be a little bitter a little bit more strong than you probably could palate but if you do just a quick shot you know of turmeric apple cider vinegar um, and some you know lime juice or lemon juice or something then it's going to have an, a circulatory effect on your body. And, and then a lot of people are just like, I don't want to do that. I'd rather take the pill. Well, this turmeric forte that we're using is turmeric and fingery, like I said, and, and it is 45 times stronger than just turmeric by itself. And it's definitely more absorbable than just turmeric mixed with black pepper. So it's really a, a cool way to upregulate that metabolism. You know what's something neat? Okay, Josh Edge, he just commented when we were talking about the cruise ships and the giveaway and, and kind of maybe staying on track. Whenever you're on a cruise boat, if you're trying to lose weight or, or be healthy, he said, we get steps easier on a cruise than at home. We're always taking the stairs and walking around in ports. Some people maybe don't get those 22,000 steps. That's a lot yeah. of steps. You know, some people probably maybe only get, you know, 1,000, 2,000. They stay at home, work it, sitting right. down. And so for them, it may be a good opportunity. Hey, I need to stretch my legs, go outside. And the, get some uh, sunshine. Fresh and juice. Some, and, and go walk. Yeah. There was the other thing, too, was you saw that they had the track. That you yeah. could walk around the entire ship. It's on the outside. It's a walking track. They also had the, the, water, the hear gym. The water. Yeah, the whenever free we gym. when we filmed that, Kurt was like, "Hey, I need you to run around the ship four times, and I'm going to film you." And then he didn't use any of that footage. I was like soaking wet. The and drone sweat. was flying over the top of thought, him, and like yeah, in it my was head, great. I imagined the Rocky theme song. He's like, "Oh, he's going to have me playing." Dun, dun, dun. I had the tiger going, dun, and I'm running. Dun, dun. But you didn't even use any of that. No. Why not? Well, I look good, I or did I look bad? I tried to get clearance to use the theme song from Rocky, oh, and they wouldn't give us the the theme, the clearance for it. That's fair. <laughs> that is fair. Okay. That, I mean, that, that, that's all these rules you got to abide by whenever you're on the radio. <laughs> rules? We I don't mean, need no rules. Man, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, who's got? I mean, who's dealing with allergies out there? Let's get a little hands up. Uh, if you're dealing with like itchy, watery eyes, and we put our hands up <laughs> playing that song. If you have green all over your car, some somebody sent me a meme yesterday that said this isn't the yellow brick road, and it was a picture of like Dorothy oh, and all of them, wow. and it said this is just pollen on the ground. And I mean, if you're struggling with itchy, watery eyes, if you're struggling with the you know the the the, the challenge of drippy down the back of your throat, and you can't, you're sneezing a lot, and you're really struggling with this allergy pollen. 
Living Well Clinical Nutrition Center, we got answers for you guys. I mean, I just want to let everybody know we've got a seminar this month coming up on that very subject on allergies. We'll have it mm-hmm. posted below. And we want people to know that, you know, you don't have to suffer with health elements, guys. So it's, you know, we've got environmental stressors uh, that we're dealing with currently, like li- living so close to Deer Park and all the different, you know, cleanup that they're going through, the benzene exposures. We've got allergens. We've got pollens. We've got, you know, uh, some of these are food allergies that people are dealing with. I was just watching a video this morning on the amount of uh, glycophosphates that are in, you know, even foods that you're probably eating every day, like squash and zucchini, and it could be something that's disrupting the gut microbiology, and that's disrupting your internal shield, so to speak. And if that internal shield, your gut lining gets messed up, and and it's now penetratable, you're you have a full out war between your good bacteria that belongs there and your um, non you know, the good bacteria, the bad flora that are trying to overtake. And now you've got stress in your gut lining that now is compounded when you have stress in your life. And this is, you know, another one of these reasons when maybe we could use a, you know, a stress free cruise as an opportunity to rest and digest. Ooh, I like you what know, you did there. I, I did see something the other day. So my girlfriend and I <laughs> were doing this book. It's a, a love book or whatever where it's like a daily devotional. Isn't it like a marriage devotional? That's the funny. You've been part dating about- for a month. Okay, I'm, anyways, <laughs> anyway, not, not the point. Not the point. <laughs> uh, it's about. Uh, it said that the the Bible love. talks about. Oh my gosh! It talks about how L every is for the <laughs> way. <laughs> I'm never gonna get to Have this question me. now. Oh, <laughs> is for the only one. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyways. He's in love. Uh, yes, I am. V is very, very. <laughs> it, it talked about how the Bible talks about on and on the seventh day he rested. Like even God needed rest after working so much. And so you can't work all the time that you need to take some time and rest. And that, the, it also said like your wife or your spouse should also like recognize that and remember you know that sometimes you just need to rest. Okay, I need to see this book because the mail don't stop. K H E A radio does <laughs> not stop. Hey, the frequencies aren't stopping. The videos don't need to stop. We need editing. We need content. Chop a tell Eight him days I need, a week. Tell him I need. I need rest. Twenty five hours a tell day. Him, tell him I can't. <laughs> no vacation. I can't be editing videos <laughs> well, till four a.m. every I'm, day. I'm just. You know, there is some. There is some truth to that. So you know, if we were to really look at, you know. And the way, the way I've kind of have viewed this whole thing with God taking a break on Sundays, it's because God was done. You know, finished oh, what He meant. Yeah, I mean, I mean, You're he, not gonna he, help me. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't mean it worse. There's no. Cause, okay, there is no <sighs> being done here at KHEA Radio. Uh, uh, and, and I don't think there's done anywhere. But it is nice when you get to take a break right. and check out for a little bit. Yeah, from four to six a.m. You can take a nap. <laughs> That's right. No, you know what Kurt told me the other day about allergies. He said that he had been taking Benadryl to go to sleep, oh. and I don't know what time you go to sleep, but it's, it can't be like early because no, you have it's a like lot of work. midnight. Midnight, yeah. And so then in the morning he wakes up groggy, maybe like struggling to come in, but he didn't take it the other day, and he was like on time early. And I was like, Kurt, dude, what's I wasn't up? Let's on go. Time, you were just late. <laughs> I was later than he was, <laughs> but still, I was like, you beat me here. Like this is awesome. You know what's up? And you were in a good mood, and you're like, oh, I didn't take Benadryl last night, but I'm a but little sniffly. I was sniffly all day. I mean, and you know, there's this there's this place in League City called Living Well Clinical Nutrition Center. You ought mm-hmm. to look into it, <laughs> and, uh, because we are anti drugs, oh. <laughs> anti surgery. No. And we would love to take. Yeah, you, did you hear that clearing of the throat? That well, that was like a good sound effect. Uh, uh, and all that drippy crud in the back of your throat—that's a sign. That's a sign that you've got trash stuck in your high lymph system. That's everything that comes out your eyes, ears, nose, and throat. You know the one thing. So last week, if you watched the show last week, we talked about the little boil on my. This is the worst conversation. Hey, ever. your boil's looking good this morning. It's Can- finally going away, but it's been a week. Did you take any of the stuff I told you to take? No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that's good. At least, at least that uh, 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 honesty. I don't have I, to be. I forgot what you said. Something about like Spanish horseradish or something like that. <laughs> Spanish black radish. Oh, black radish. Thymex. See, I would have been worse. I would have taken you my horseradish. You should have texted me this morning. I would have brought you some. My goodness. So the, uh, the so this is the thing. So like I went out of town this weekend to Dallas. Okay. And um, and and it was really awesome because uh, we 
I had all my supplements with me. A couple of people had tummy aches on the trip, so we were able to give them, you know, tummy ache remedies. We had a couple of people that had that had uh, just a little bit of head, headache, and we were able to clear that kind of stuff out. Some of it was from the allergens in the air. Some of it was from the fact that that, you know, cold front was blowing through. But it was amazing for me because I, I, I just got to see, you know, I always travel prepared with this stuff because you never know. You know, you never know when you have an allergy attack. You never know when, uh, you know, you've never had allergies ever, but all of a sudden. And I have patients come in all the time that have the case of the suddenlies. And the, the case of the suddenlies is, you know, a year ago I didn't have this. Two years ago I could do this. And now I can't do that or now I'm suffering with that. And, and if you're finding yourself dealing with symptom patterns that you weren't genetically born with, whether it's headaches, whether it's migraines, whether it's allergens uh, that are affecting you today that, that you didn't used to, or maybe you're like, you know, Kurt, you're new to Texas, uh, relatively speaking, and, and every time, ever since you've come to, you've been here, you, you're, st- you're dealing with things that you didn't deal with in, what was it, like Kansas? Nebraska. Nebraska? Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, corn country. <laughs> You know, wow. for for Kurt, though, because sometimes he's like, well, I wasn't sniffing when I took the Benadryl. I'm like, Kurt, you were definitely sniffing. So I'm thinking it's the same thing when he was in Nebraska. He was like, man, I had no allergies. I'm just going to make a, a statement here. Sarah Franklin Daniel, you got it, sister. Tell Kurt, just say that again. Cut the, the dairy, dairy out. out. Cut it out. All you got to that, that, that little mar, that little marshmallow thing that you were just gobbling down a second ago doesn't help your allergies, bud. Wait, you saw that? <laughs> of course, I see everything. I, I wasn't always calming. He was sitting here the whole time. <laughs> Dang, I totally forgot about that. No. Oh yes. Well, hey, also- I will. I will say that you know dairy is the number one culprit behind behind wheat, behind soy and corn. That could be contributing to your allergy issues. Hey, so Mandy has a question. She said, I live with migraines. Is there any relief from headaches? Uh, that would be an amazing thing. Is there something you can recommend? or Right after this quick top of the hour break. It is 9 a.m., everybody, on April 2nd. Just want to let everybody know that. And, yes, we can totally rock the house with migraines like that. And, <laughs> and, and, and help people give them solutions. So the question is, Is uh, do you have... Are, are your migraines associated with your cycle or are migraines associated with just you're getting them every week? And are they the kind that debilitate you for days? Where do they come on? Do they come on at the base of your skull? Do they come on behind your eyes? You know, what? some of the extra insight helps us know where is the source of the migraine. And a lot of times what I do, if I don't know the source, is I'll recommend people get on some intestinal cleanse number one. And it, at, the, at, the main, at the onset of your symptom pattern, some people get those uh, halos around their, uh, uh, their head. They feel prodromal signs and symptoms where they have light sensitivity or e- hearing sensitivity, and they just want to be in a cold, dark room. Well, they know those symptoms before the h- migraine like kicks in mm-hmm. full force. So what I have them do is go for the the uh, intestinal cleanse number one and intestinal cleanse number one will push trash out of the bowel and will clear the liver and clear the limp and keep the congestion from happening also we use a product called antronex which will drain the excess toxic debris and a toxin guys is nothing more than something your body can't use so if you get these toxins moving if you get your bowels clearing then your liver can clear, your lymphatics can clear, and congestion, stagnation, which is the cause of all disease, stagnation somewhere in the body, if it's in the high lymph system, it could be migraines, it could be allergies, and we can get those things to dissipate. So Mandy, she responded back to some of the uh, the questions you were mentioning. She said it's every week, one side of the head and neck pain, it's not associated with any cycle. Okay, so and it's and it knows what she just threw in there as a little nice caveat, neck pain. So anytime you have neck pain associated with a migraine, it's always digestive headache. And if it's on the right side, it's because you got something stuck on the ascending colon side. If it's on the left side, uh, and it's on the descending colon side. And and so you could do belly massages using things like lavender and peppermint oil, uh, and, and 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 massage your abdomen, and and literally massage it. Like get in there and find those tender areas and rub them. And uh, you could find a massage therapist that could do a belly massage. Didn't you do that to Kurt the other day? Uh, I, that was when I pulled his stomach down. That was for <laughs> oh, a hiatal hernia. That. Yeah, uh, that, and that's another cool visceral adjustment we do in office where we can adjust the ileocecal valve, the stomach, and the valve of Houston, believe it or not, called the valve of Houston. That's cool. Yeah. Shout out to the valve of Houston. So here's another question <laughs> from, from uh, Queen Glinda. She said, what can you do about inflammation in your body? So inflammation in the body is an interesting thought. 
uh, because <coughs> we're so in, in cult, uh, indoctrinated with this idea of anti-inflammatories, anti-inflammatories. So let's talk a little bit about that approach, and then let's talk about another idea also, if I can get it squeezed in. And first and foremost, when you're looking at inflammation, you're wanting to decrease the inflammation. So we got to find the source of it. So most inflammation is driven by our bodies carrying approximately 11 to 15 meals caked up inside of us. And our body is rallying an, a defense, so to speak, to go after those, you know, the, the clearing of those those meals that are slow in the body. So stagnation or bowel transit time is a huge thing to eliminate inflammation. So we have to look at food. 80% of all inflammation, all disease that is diagnosed that you see somebody dealing with, deal with yourself or, or follow, you know, somebody that is dealing with a, an issue started in their digestive tract. And we look at the four, first top four most common food allergens, and that's going to be wheat. So that's going to be your gluten, your tortillas. That's mm. going to be your pastas, all those things that we love so dearly. Mm -hmm. And the bread at the table when it comes out, you know, the Schinerbach beer bread. Oh, got to love that stuff. But, you know, it, it could be a, something that's slowing down bowel motility. And so when you slow down bowel motility, that's one problem. The other problem with a lot of the grains out there is they're loaded with pesticide. The pesticides, the herbicides, are basically disrupting the way your bowel ecology is in a healthy balance or not. And so that can create inflammation. So if we pull these inflammatory burdens out just in the grain department, you know, I still go back to Joseph Mercola's book, 1990s, where he talked about the no grain diet. Every of these, all the fad diets that we see today, which a lot of them aren't fads, they're good diets, uh, Whole30, Keto, you know, low carb living, just come back down to this concept. If we, re we get away from the grains, never in history have we consumed so many grain products, bread, that's cereals, pastas, cereal bars that we just saw Kurt gobbling down. I still can't believe I did that I in know. front of you. That's like saying. a weird cereal. It's not even like, I think of a cereal bar like, oh, like a Nutri-Grain bar. And even now, I feel like it would be better than eating, it's like a Lucky Charm bar. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it looked just like a Lucky Charm bar. And yeah. the white marshmallow thing, and there was like the quote-unquote milk. Look, yeah. You know? and, uh, so Yummy. I, if I would have realized that you were sitting there as I was doing this, <laughs> I would have never. I mean, never <laughs> but think about it. How, and I like that you brought that up. How many things do we do every day that we're just creatures of habit? And we do it over and over and over again, not realizing that it's killing us or inflaming us or hurting our bodies and shortening our lifespan and worse, shortening our quality of life. And that's just in the grain department. We haven't even looked at the next one, dairy. And dairy is going to be milk, cheese, yogurt, sour cream, ice cream, whey, protein, anything that's got casein in it. And, and we look at people go, well, what about butter? Butter is okay as long as it's a grass-fed butter and that it's organic because <laughs> it, it doesn't have the casein, 0.067% of the casein that's in these other items. And so it is typically more safe and able to be consumed than your milk, cheese, yogurt, sour cream, ice cream, and whey protein. And I know I heard a lot of feelings out there because who doesn't love cheese? No, chips and queso. I think of going to a restaurant, and that's like the starter. That's the starter. Chips and queso. Right. And so the problem with that is it's probably like something like that doesn't – some, you know, cheesy color that doesn't even exist in nature. You know what I mean? If you think of like uh, the the V-cheese, y'all know that one? Rico's uh, nacho uh, cheese. Uh, yeah, it's like you've never seen that color in nature. And, uh, and so what happens is the amount of pus cells that the FDA allows is 750 million pus cells per gallon of milk. Well, it takes 10 gallons of milk to pick a pound of cheese, so that's 7.5 billion pus cells that could literally be clogging up and infesting into your body and disrupting the way your body is performing. It's very sad. So Jackie Gomez has a question. She said, what is the best food or supplement to take to help boost your immune system? When I think of the immune system, I think of people that are, are sick. You know, like, and if you mm. boost your immune system, I guess your immune system fights that off naturally, like sickness. Yeah. So one of the things that we use in our office supplementally is we we will always do uh, a beet-based product to clear trash out of the liver because we're always trying to eliminate stagnation and congestion. And if we can keep the bowels uh, moving better with healthy bile production from the liver and the gallbladder, then we are going to have better digestion, better absorption, and things aren't going to get stuck as much. And then, then we come in with things like uh, cod liver oil mm -hmm. because cod liver oil will literally lubricate every tissue cell organ gland in the body. If you had 30 bucks and that's all you could afford a month to, to put as a supplement, 
I use Nordic Naturals as cod liver oil. We sell it at our office at a discount because, you know, everybody needs to be on this stuff. And it is absolute heaven. It will coat everything from your esophagus all the way throughout the digestive tract. And it's like putting out fires that are inflamed. It's like liquid bandage, that liquid bandage stuff that you put on your skin. Mm -hmm. I I look at cod liver oil like that capability in your digestive tract. So how can somebody get a hold of you? Oh, good question. Get to your office. Yeah, so Living Well Clinical Nutrition Center. We're in League City, and we've been there for the last 13 years, almost 14 now. And we're so excited. You can call us at 281-554-866. Zero, zero, or you can visit us at our website, justlivewell.com. And justlivewell.com, we have a lot of cool surveys up there that can give you insights to maybe some of the things that you're dealing with, whether it's allergies, whether it's fatigue, whether it's hormonal challenges, no matter, whether it's sleep issues. And we help people with a variety of different symptom patterns that people weren't genetically born with. So most people come in and they have what some version of the suddenlies that, you know, at 33, they started having symptoms. At 23, they had some, some kind of symptom that they never had before and they're, they're not understanding. And so people come in all the time and say, well, Dr. Chapa, I've been eating cheese and eating this cereal and doing this for the last 30 years. Why, why all of a sudden? Well, again, the case of the suddenlies are upon us. The way our bodies perform when we're 18, we have more brown fat than we have white fat. We have better metabolism uh, when we're young. We have more stem cells when we're younger. Our body's regenerating faster. We're way more active. I mean, think of the amount of sports that you played when you were 21 and under compared to 21 and over. And so what happens is we slow down and the aging process begins. And it's scientifically documented that the spine is as soft as it's ever going to be at 25 years old. That means it's that and every other system in the body is trying to harden as you get older. And our job is to make sure that if the dude don't move, the dude don't groove, right? So we've got to keep you guys moving. If we can keep you grooving, then you will live longer and be more vibrant. And that way, we also want to eliminate congestion because if the dude don't move, what? The dude don't groove. The dude don't groove. We got another question. Good morning. This is KHEA Radio, 99.5 FM. It's 9, 10 a.m. on Tuesday morning. We're broadcasting live from Lamarck, Texas, right here in beautiful Galveston County. We stream live every weekday, 8.30 to 11 a.m., from from our studio, we go out into the community. If you have any questions whenever it comes to health, if you have any questions for Dr. Chapa or his office, feel free to let us know. We're giving away a cruise. That was our big thing today. It's exciting. But if you have a question about health, feel free to ask. Here's one that is from Nellie. She said, what is good for arthritis? My aunt is suffering, and she needs some kind of supplement or help for, for maintenance. Is there anything you can take for arthritis? Yeah, so arthritis is what I really call. Does anybody know? I know. What is it? Arthrongus. Yes, because there's, there's nothing, nothing right about. about it. That's right. Uh, Gary, you got my back on that one. So, look, here's the deal. is When you are suffering with joint pain, inflammation throughout your elbows, knees, shoulders, hips, uh, ankles, wherever it is in your body, that is not normal. There's and, and, you, and People say all the time, oh, it's just I'm getting older. Well, no, it doesn't have to be that way. What we want to do is we want to reach out and we want to start lubricating the joints. Well, one of the ways you lubricate the joints is through mobility and and hydration. So we have to make sure we drink 32 ounces of water per 50 pounds of body weight. And then we want to follow that up twice a day with about a tablespoon of cod liver oil. And that's, again, you can get that at our office. We use a, a, a company that uses what we call, if I'm going to be a little scientific on you, a reesterified triglyceride as their base, as opposed to 98% of the rest of the cod liberals out there, which is an ethyl ester. And an ethyl ester is basically heavily processed. We don't want those. We want good, clean, low, tinkered with, you know, uh, nutrients coming into the body. And that's what Nordic offer, offers. And we're really excited to have that. And we've been using it for years. And so, and it doesn't taste bad. And it, people love it. And so uh, the second thing that we do with arthritis, uh, or what we call arthrongus. Rongus. That's right. <clears throat> Good job there, Kurt. Do I get He's a high five? He's learning. Uh, yeah. Uh, Air five. Air five. Yeah. Next time when you're on point, oh, you get the actual looks five. <laughs> on the stream because our camera is... The way it went. The oh, that's, like let's we do it again. Five. That was awesome. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Good job, guys. So the, uh, the second thing we do this is... This is why I tune in. That's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, to make, keep us on track. <laughs> Just like you're the guy in the middle. The way, is keep the liver... Keep the liver healthy. So this is when we incorporate detoxification into our, most people's protocols at some point when we get them into what we call the healing and observation period. That's phase two of our program. And when we clear the, the liver, 
the body won't store the toxins in the joints. See, the body stores toxins. And again, a toxin is nothing more than something your body cannot use. And that could be anything that your body cannot use. And, but your body will store these contaminants in your brain. That's why people can't remember why they walk into a room and they or go, or honey, where's my keys? Uh, and then, they, or why people have where joint pain. Yeah, where are we? I can see that happening. KG like, radio, radio. Yeah. Um, so, or joint pain. The body stores toxins in the joints. And lastly, the body stores toxins in fat cells. And that's why people can't lose weight. And they've tried everything under the sun to get there. Wow. So somebody asked earlier if the, if you treated and work with adults only. No, gosh, no. We have a huge kid practice. If your kids suffer with earaches, you know, runny noses, if they got you know sore throats, if they got flus, uh, if they just I had a little kid in yesterday that had gotten a car wreck with his mom, uh, his grandma, three days ago, and he was um, in our office yesterday getting a tune up. So we even adjust little kids as well. And so we have a wide variety. We are a non-drug, non-surgical based practice where we give people alternatives to these things so that they can live better, be better. And we work with the elderly. Uh, we work with middle age. We work with male and female. We work with little kids. The youngest patient I have is, you know, seven days old uh, currently. So, I mean, it's amazing the different people that walk through our office dealing with life. And this is the thing, guys. Every one of us. I used to think when I was a kid, I don't look back remembering having a lot of issues. But as I've studied myself a little bit more, I realized I did have migraines as a kid. And I did have high cholesterol as a kid. And I was, my people would tell us to take him off eggs, take him off the cholesterol, take him off, you know what I mean? But come to find out those were bad teachings. And we've found out that truly to eat well and live well is to you know, know who the culprits are because what you eat is important, but what you, you don't, don't eat is even more important. Boom, shakalaga. Yes. And and so that is the game, is knowing what to avoid. So we go back to, if we get rid of the wheat, let's get rid of the dairy, let's get rid of the soy, let's get rid of the corn. And, we, and, and what we eliminate at that point is a lot of these pesticides and herbicides that we're putting and spraying all over our food. And we get rid of the, the slowing down of our bowel system, our liver system that create congestion in the lymph system that lead to symptom patterns or true blue diagnoses that you weren't genetically born with. How many people are probably dealing with stuff they weren't genetically born with? Oh, let's just get a little shout out. So if you're dealing with something that you're not genetically born with, just say yes or actually list it like it could be yes. migraines or it could be allergies Headache, or it could be blood pressure. Stomach ache. It could be whatever it is. Blood and and, and and this is things that you're dealing with on the reg that you're wanting a solution for other than Tums, other than allergies, other than antibiotics. You know that one day, one dose of antibiotics? You look like you need to say something. No, I'm just... Oh, the, <laughs> um, the One dose of antibiotics can disrupt the bowel ecology to the point that your your system can be malfunctioning for months just from one drop of an atomic bomb in your gut. That's what an antibiotic is. Okay, so this is one that I have to ask for myself. Is this about your belly button? <clears throat> no, it's not about my belly button. Okay. Okay, but that was also really crazy. Just ask the other one. Just Okay, well, this is almost maybe as bad. So, I'm having a new girlfriend. Oh, I no. take my shoes off, you know, when we're hanging out. and How come you don't care when I've, I've been telling you your feet stink for like a year now and you didn't care, but now all of a sudden your girlfriend tells you? <laughs> yeah, because it's a bad thing. Like, <laughs> okay. Is that because of diet or or what is that a cause from? Is that something Do you wear you, socks? I wear socks okay, so all day least, long. So a lot of people come in and they have stinky feet because their, their, their body chemistry pH and the material of their shoe are not jiving. But if you have stinky feet and you do wear socks, um, then your body is using your your skin as an exit channel, something other than your bowels or your kidneys to pee it out, sweat it out, breathe it out, poop it out. Uh, and, and so your body is pushing it through your skin. Huh. And it's coming out the pores of the feet because your body sees the feet and the hands as metabolic downloads, mm. and it will push stuff away from the vital core, your heart, your your liver, and your lungs and your um, you know metabolic organs and will protect those things if the toxin is you know beyond what the body can deal with in that moment so it shunts it far away down deep in the extremities and that's where people start getting these arthritis that pop up uh, inflammation in their joints or in your case just stinky feet uh, is a is an issue so we want to clean your liver clean your bowels and you will see stinky feet go away. 
you know, it, that, that's an interesting the same thing with body, like underarm body odor issues. Right. The the interesting thing about that though, and I've heard this before from other people, a lot of like your back aches and stuff like that. If you're having issues with that, starts at your feet, right? Like if if there's a a joint in each like toe or something like that, is that correct? Am I anywhere uh, close on that? A joint in every one of your toes. I mean, like it, you can yeah. like, making a, an adjustment to this part of your yeah, yeah, your yeah. toe. Absolutely. will Absolutely, those are phalanges, and so and, and they and they bend, and uh, and your body will put toxins as far away from the vital core as possible, and and, and that's why people get bunions. That's where people get. Uh, Heber- uh, they call them Heberton's nodes or Smorl's nodes, and there's those little like balls that pop up on your on the finger joints, and uh, and these are real issues. Hammer toes are all a sign of lymphatic congestion. You know, scoliosis is a lymphatic problem, and 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 so and I and it's really sad to me because I really believe that if we could get these young folks, and and you know how it is. I mean, it's hard for the young people because they're. They don't want to have to make a dietary change because they want to fit in so bad. You know, they're still trying to find their place in the world. And and so asking them to get off of dairy, milk, cheese, yogurt, the number one thing that cl- clogs up your lymph system. And if you've got scoliosis, man, you're asking for trouble. Yeah, and, and, and the lymph system will, uh, will be your worst enemy as opposed to your greatest asset. You know, Dr. Chapa, I think I need to come and get an adjustment. You because my 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 hips have been shifted, and I can tell it's been getting worse. Um, whenever I walk, sometimes it feels uneven. I know my feet don't wear the same way. I went to a podiatrist like maybe a year and a half, two years ago. They told me that the only well, the, what they could do for my feet because I do have some hammer toe. Which this is weird to talk about. They they said they could cut off the tip of my toe, and that would be like the fix for it. And oh I was my like, gosh. I told them, you know what? I think I'm good. I think I'll live with these hammer toes. It's hammer time, and I, I'm good to go. You know, I'm going to twinkle toe on out of there. I, dan- I dance on I'm out. I'm glad you twinkle toe. What is toed a hammer out of there? toe? Can you? Yeah, I, just it just like my toe is longer, like the second one. Like, you know, if your thumb, your big toe, and then that one right there, and it kind of goes to the side. Oh. Like that, it's long and it goes. My dad had his pinky toe or whatever laid over the top of his fourth one. And think about on it. On both feet. And, and the odds probably are one of my friends calls <clears throat> these beautiful little, you know, contraptions we all love on our feet, they're shoe coffins. And, and these shoe coffins are, you know, the worst thing for our feet a lot of times because, you know, some of the people wear toes that, you know, really bunch up at the end and they cause your toes to really scrunch in there. And that creates, you know, problem and people are in their shoes all day long. Nobody walks barefooted. I know people that their feet hurt so bad that they don't even that they wear shoes at home. But what we need to do is we need to get back to earthing where we like walk around and we like dig our feet in the sand. We do little, you know, uh, I've, I've seen dancers teach where they, they put a rag on the ground and you train your feet to pick up the rag and you get with your toes and, and you just scrunch it up and you're creating dexterity. It, again, everybody thinks they're, you know, invincible until the day they realize they're not, right? We all think our joints are invincible, or like, for example, our knee uh, or our ankles are invincible until they're not. And then you don't realize how much it, it you know, uh, joint pain affects you until you have it. And and if we can keep you the joints moving and grooving, and if we can clean the liver and we can remove these food allergens, we can see massive shift in the way the body performs and lubricates itself what is the so only funny? thing that's so funny is mandy said her father-in-law has his toe in the jar in the bait in his basement which uh, that's what that he cut off i don't know maybe he had the issue that i had where he had the hammer toe and they're like we got to cut it off but speaking of speaking anymore. of toes let's change the subject a little bit i'm gonna have to come in to you dr chop and get an adjustment so jody had a question jody banks good morning to you shout out to jody um she said, I've been wanting to get my three-year-old allergy tested since she seems to get allergic reactions a lot. Is this test something worth putting her through, or is there an alternative to find out exactly what she is allergic to? Okay, so one of the things that, I mean, absolutely, you should come in and let us start working with you. Because we're not going to do an IgE test where we, like, you know, poke rub, po- poke stuff on your back. We're And a lot of times, you don't even need to do this, uh, come in for this allergy test. And the reason being is it's free. You can do it just by listening to me talk about it, is eliminate dairy, wheat, corn, and soy out of the diet for two weeks. And and just do what we call a two-week 
elimination diet. And then watch the patterns of the child. L watch the patterns of yourself. Watch the patterns of whoever's doing the experiment. And whatever ailment you had, I bet you it'll go away. And you'll start to see, wow, that was interesting. And then you put that food one at a time back in on day 15 and see if symptoms don't start coming back. And you can literally create this pattern over and over again. And so the food elimination diet doesn't cost anything. It's the most labor intensive because you have to do it. Yeah. And you can't cheat. You've got to give your body time to acclimate away from it. And then it'll give you the symptom of symptom relief. And it'll give you the diagnosis of symptoms, patterns coming back whenever you put that food back in. And when you can create that kind of shift, I mean, that's one of the reasons I think diets work so well initially. The first six, eight, 12 weeks that person's on a diet, it's because they're not putting in alcohol. They're not putting in processed food. They're not putting in the wheat, the dairy, the corn, the soy. They're eliminating foods because what you eat is important, but what? You don't eat is more important. That's right. That's right. My mic's muted. I had oh, it. Oh, see, that was so Because awesome. he's dealing with... Some some symptoms he wasn't genetically born with. He keeps sniffing in the mic. He gets that little boil, which is actually healing. Yeah, but it yeah. comes up every two months or so. And well, if you but in this case, I mean, this is a three year old that's dealing with allergies. And so I had a, a, a young man, um, I guess two um, allergy seasons ago when he came in. He was, I mean, he was it was tough. Like we had a rough season, but it was our first time to work together. Well, we worked hard that whole season and. For six months afterwards so about nine months total and guess what i guess we haven't seen this allergy season and i just i, mean, I, I saw his their father the other day and he's not suffering this this season because they have the tools they have what we've taught them they've integrated the lifestyle and this little guy is a world-class little gymnast i mean he's doing amazing things and will continue to do amazing things allergy free because They've incorporated the elimination diet. They found the foods that inflame him, and we use nutrients to restore his body and help his body regenerate faster. And so now his body can not only recover faster from his workouts, but it can also recover faster from, you know, the um, the, the environmental stress that we are exposed to. So, Doctor Shop, when can I come in and get an adjustment? Do I need to call two eight one five five four eighty six hundred or go do one of the no just little call, things? Yeah, absolutely, call our office two eight one five five four eighty six hundred, and on. you can get in and make an appointment to, uh, as, as soon as we have. We could probably get you in there this afternoon. You can see, go see Dr. Amber. Dr. Amber's over there kicking uh, tail and, and helping serve people. And, I, I, you know, and I'm there on the days that I'm not here <laughs> with you guys. And so we're in pretty much uh, all week. Every five days a week till eight to eight to six or nine to six or something. Um, every day except Friday, we leave at five. Hi, this is Guardy with KHEA Radio. I'm calling to see if I can speak to Dr. Choppa. I'm just kidding. I didn't call. <laughs> but, <laughs> I was like, really? This is awesome. So awesome. Uh, so yeah. So um, anything that you guys are dealing with, I like what you know. Mandy was saying. Uh, he didn't detox in time. Well, that might be true. His, I, he lost. This his is toe. our toe guy. Sorry, Mandy. <laughs> I thought you were about to say something good about detoxing. <laughs> There's always a good. If that's not if that, that's not motivation, Mandy, uh, we got to get you detoxing. We don't want you to lose toes and have them stored in the basement. Ouch. I mean, that just doesn't sound pleasant. No. Right now it's 9:26. This is KHEA Radio, 99.5 FM. It's Kickstart. Kurt, we dropped a video this morning. Can you share real quick? What that video entails. Yeah, we're giving away a cruise through Royal Caribbean and your vacation edge. Thanks, Karen and the crew. Thanks to Karen and the team. Karen and the team. I like Karen and the crew. I like I like team better because that's what she used. Yes, <laughs> Karen and the team. And uh, we're giving it away to somebody who likes, shares, and comments on that video. It is our featured video on our Facebook page at KHEA Radio. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Read the rules. You have to be 25 years old or older to win. Um, that's Kurt, that rules. means you can't win. I can't You're win. You're like 21, right? I'm oh. 20, 20 plus 10. 20 oh, plus yeah. 10. Poor Ethan, he couldn't win. Ethan could not. He asked, and we're like, we couldn't, couldn't even win take anyways. him on the cruise with us. He was jealous, and we're like, well, we're going to eat all that buffet, and we're going to eat all that ice cream. <laughs> you know, one of the things that um, we, we were on the cruise, Guardy, we were talking about how got to get summer ready, right? Like, like our gotta, bodies? Our, my body. Uh, at least, right? Mine like, too. Yeah. I'm like in winter mode, you know? Still in winter mode. And uh, we were talking about, you know, if I ever went on a cruise, I would have to, one, be Tanner, because I can't walk on that thing looking like this. Like, there'd be no way. Oh, yeah. Me too. <laughs> right? But there's some dangers with that. There's some dangers with being out in the sun, you know, and, and not protecting yourself. As a as a nutritionist, Dr. Chapa, is there is there nutrition, like, 
information that goes into taking care of your skin like that, being out Absolute. in the sun. I'm so glad you brought that up. It's almost like you just like pitched me one right down the middle. It's one of my favorite little remedies to help people out. The best sunscreen that you can use is not the stuff you topically rub all over yourself. Uh, that's you know, most of the time the worst thing that you can do because when you block the melanocytes when, uh, and, and all these receptors in your skin from this from the alpha get beta gamma delta waves of the sun you're only blocking one of the waves and that creates imbalance and imbalance we know creates issues or cancers hopefully not but i mean a lot of times this is how it goes as you put these lotions and potions on your skin hoping to block or just tan or whatever and this is not always the best approach the best thing to do is to put high dose cod liver oil in your body with high dose calcium and magnesium and we need to get good quality nutrients like this in abundance in the body so we use a product in our office called calcium lactate and which is a calcium magnesium and or a coral legend product that's calcium magnesium for kids it's just an easy powder that you can rub in and we've got kid versions of a cod liver oil and adult versions of cod liver oil and it literally saturates the tissues and it, and and think about it you know, you are what you eat, right? You become what you eat. Well, your skin is a mirror image of the internal workings of your digestive tract. So if we lubricate and mineralize the inside, your pH on your skin is going to be more balanced and your body will process the sun. Now, can you get too much sun? Absolutely. So when you're in the sun abundant, and for a long period of time, abundance-wise, you do and should consider sun blocks on the skin, something that blocks everything. So something that's got like, um, what is it, titanium dioxide, I believe, and uh, and uh, some sort of, you know, a flashing metal product that will re repel all aspects of the sun, not allowing parts of it to come through. Yeah. And and so we've got to look at, you know, what we're putting on our skin because what you put on your skin, you should if you can't eat it, you shouldn't put it on your skin either because your skin is the largest organ we have. That's you know exposed to the elements of the world and our digestive tract would be the second uh, you know most vulnerable thing that's exposed to the elements of the world and if you're putting it on your skin then you're technically saying it's okay to digest it that's a one safe way that you can assume hey this isn't good for my skin it's not good for my body either so i'd put queso on my skin though do you all? I knew there was. Something. I would put case. I'm just really, saying. You had a special shine on your. I did. On, on, on your. Uh, I, I washed my today. face and moisturized it this to, morning with queso. I think I've told you guys this, or, or talked about it on the radio. But when I was in college, my freshman year, I actually would go sun tanning in the tanning beds. Oh yeah. As I had like blonde highlights oh, and. Did you have the shell necklace around your neck? I had the shell necklace. Woo. I was walking around in the khaki shorts. It's like pop collar minus 20 degrees outside in Nebraska <laughs> and I'm walking around in my Hawaiian shirt, but I turned orange like like you had too many carrots orange like Donald Trump orange. Wow. So you're presidential. I'm presidential in a way. <laughs> yeah, but it was bad. Like it was orange, orange, orange. And I think it was because of the bronzer that I was using, but it didn't work <laughs> on my skin. Lessons learned as a young freshman college student. Yeah, and I would think this would be like 1999, but what year was it? It was like 09 or something, 08? 2008, yes. Yeah. I was 10 years late to the party. We wouldn't have been friends, I don't think. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's 931, this you is need, KHEA you Radio. Need a, you need a 29-year-old Kurt to be friends with. Yeah, even then. Even then. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> I mean, how do you even how, how do you how do you jump in on that conversation? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the uh, we don't forget, guys. We also have a free, no no cost to the public, uh, speech class or a uh, allergy class on the twenty fifth of this month at six thirty p.m. where we're going to be talking about how to eliminate allergens and deal with all this allergy stuff that people have been dealing with. So we're really excited to have these classes. We've been you know, successfully promoting classes and doing classes for the public uh, just since, I guess, beginning of February last year. So, And we've been really consistent about pushing these out to you guys because we want you all to be educated. The more you guys have the tools, the more you can use these tools whenever life happens on a weekend. Oh, that or, was a weak choppa-ism. We needed, like, something with tool. Oh, I think I to work on that. Yeah. I'll a, see what I can do. Get a choppaism for it. <laughs> so you need the tools. We need the tools. 
pretty much. If you have any questions for Dr. Chapa, feel free to ask now. You can also give his office a call, 281-554-8600, located in Leak City, Texas. Go to his website, justlivewell.com. There are some questionnaires on there. There's some surveys where you can fill it out, send it to his office, and I, I'm guessing somebody from your office will get in contact with him, right? I hope so. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, the plan. That's the way it's that's, designed. That's why it was designed. So, no, absolutely. Our staff is very friendly and very excited to help and serve the uh, community. They are. They work really hard to make the transition in the front door you know, convenient and easy. It is sometimes tough to get in because we, we're, we're a very busy practice, but we definitely want everybody to know that we will do everything we can to get you in the door and to serve you up and to work with you guys. And, I mean, we're excited. And, and this is, you know, we're expanding. we got Dr. Amber at the office, and she's seeing patients. Uh, and then doctor, and then and Jennifer's also as well in our office doing nutrition work. And then I got myself in there grooving. And so we've got – marketing going on all all over ashley's in charge of that they were at a health fun run this weekend and they got another one coming up this weekend so i mean we're we're all over the area like you guys and just trying to keep you know our nose to the grind and keep let people know that they can have a different life if they want to you know change and make the uh, shifts happen so i have a question so you mentioned that if somebody wanted an adjustment today dr amber would maybe be able to get them in yeah okay so here's my thought. I've, I've been to some chiropractors before, and I, I love the experience. But whenever, like, I'm, I'm a little over six foot tall, and depending on if I'm a detox or not, I'm anywhere from, like, 175 to 200 pounds. And, like, sometimes it takes a lot. Like, they're like, okay, I got you. I hold you. And, like, and I'm like, okay. And, I you know, Dr. Amber, I'm sure she's one of the best or she wouldn't be working with you. Right, right. But for me, I'm just like, okay, she's not she's not 200 pounds, you know, a little you know, six foot tall, right? And so for me, I'm just like, is she going to drop me? Is she going to drop me? Is she going to be able to crack my back? You know what I'm saying? Well, we decided that we would only allow dropped patients on Sundays, <laughs> and so we don't work on Sundays. So okay. we have, uh, to date, successfully never dropped a person. And uh, and so, yeah, the, that is always a possibility, I'm sure. <laughs> but we definitely strive to never make that happen. The okay. craziest time that you have ever worked on me, because you, you come in here every once in a while and like we'll pop some stuff and move some stuff around, was my ear. When oh, you did yeah. it to my ear. Opens and I've up the station tubes. I've been trying so hard to sit here and be like, it's how really did he bizarre. do you that? You can't adjust your own ear. Like, I mean, most people can. I, I can't even figure out how to adjust my own ear. Uh, but you can adjust the ossicles inside the uh, ear, and it will reset the eustachian tube. It'll allow the drainage to happen. Yeah, he's calling. So before I leave, I'll be tugging on that sucker. Oh, just, and, does and it have to do anything with the attitude? Like, can you adjust the attitude through the oh, ear? Yeah, or there's like, no doubt. It? I mean, that's why. Don't you remember, like, <laughs> Grandma would grab hold of your ear and On your jerk? backside? I, mm. I get, I get Yank um, that thing. Like, I sit here all throughout the week when you're not here. And I've maybe been craving this for probably, like, three weeks. The ear adjustment? The ear you're adjustment. Like, oh, I'm like, I've been... I've been just dreaming about it, thinking about Did it. Did it make you feel better? Like, feel good? Oh, yeah. It made me well, feel yeah, great. I mean, you almost, most wow. people get drainage down the back of the throat almost immediately because it changes the, the tube. I mean, and, and things can move. And that, again, congestion is what we're trying to alleviate. And when we get stagnation out of the system, then all of a sudden um, the body is set free to work more like it's supposed to. And that's the whole game, guys. I mean, no matter what you're dealing with, I will f listen to you. Jennifer will listen to you. Amber, Dr. Amber will listen to you. And what happens is is it always comes down to there's something not moving right in the body. The lymphatics are clogged up. The liver's clogged up. And we can, t we can come back to, you know, as you notice, I don't get into a lot of, like, the hardcore science on the radio because, I mean, it's – it's it's hard for people to grasp all the time, you know. But when I find that you know anybody dealing with thyroid challenges, it's there's something else causing the thyroid to malfunction. And so, do I know the physiology of the thyroid? Of course, you know. I I, I had a patient come in yesterday, and her doctor didn't want to run uh, thyroid peroxidase antibodies and thyroglobulin antibodies uh, in their in their blood work. And she's like, "Please, you're poking my arm. Just run these extra two tests." My doctor, you know, in, in Lake City wants me to have these extra ones done. And they were like, no, we're not going to do it, not going to do it. And they were fighting with her and kind of condemning her a little bit, making her feel bad. Well, anyway, long and short of it is after her analysis, she said she has no thyroid problem. And, and But she went ahead after this lady begged, bartered, and pleaded to get these thyroid peroxidase antibodies and thyroglobin antibodies run. She came back and her TSH levels were perfect. Her thyroid numbers were perfect, but those antibodies were through the roof. They were over 900, and they should be less than eight. Hmm. And and 
And this means that this lady has autoimmune thyroid. And we've got to go in and change the dynamics of, you know, putting her system back on a, a, a track to get rid of that inflammation. But the inflammation's not from the thyroid. It's something else causing the thyroid to malfunction, like metals in the teeth or food allergens or the body not having enough minerals to drive the system. So you've got the glandular, acid, uh, glandular axis whipping like a dead horse. Uh, and the thyroid being the diesel engine, your met metabolic booster, you are you know, um, getting this this stimulation from artificial rocket fuel, the 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 energy drinks, and the yeah, sorry, the caffeine, <laughs> the you know the things that people are reaching for to get through their day. And if that's the if that's who you find yourself, um, you know, yourself reaching for is those energy drinks, or you're reaching for coffee, or you're reaching for you know stimulants that aren't really natural. Then guess what? We want to encourage you that there's a better way, there's a better solution, <laughs> and you can totally get free of any addictions to food. And that's a, f a wonderful place to be. As a matter of fact, when I leave here, I'm going down to Main Squeeze. Okay. In League City, and I'm going to get uh, in uh, Webster, actually, and I'm going to get me a um, one of their protein drinks. And it's got almond f uh, butter in it and some cauliflower and banana. It's amazing. Sounds good. Would They're you, really good there. Will you tell Jeff to give us a call back? I, I will definitely. Maybe, <coughs> tell maybe him we love Jeff. Maybe I'll uh, make a little video or I'll do an auto. You know, we'll somehow call in because you'll okay. be on until eleven, right? Yeah, yeah, we'll be on until eleven. Justin yeah. Gambino's coming in. Justin Gambino. Well, guys, I'm just you know, it's so exciting every week to come and share information with you guys. I'm blown away by the people that are chiming in. So I want to say say thank you to all the fans. I hope you guys are liking, sharing and uh, commenting on our videos. And if you want that cruise, you better be liking, sharing, and commenting, especially today. Yeah, there are a lot of people that are saying they're going to give you a call. You're going to check out the office. Uh, they're excited to learn learn about you. So you've been doing this for a long time here, right? Yeah, we've been here, what, almost more than six months, I think. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. It doesn't seem like we've been buds for that long. But time flies. I'm just saying. It's Man, pretty amazing. It's been about a year, hasn't it? September? September's not a year. Kurtz. No, August. His understanding when of time is it's a little different than the rest of ours. Yeah. In Kurt world. I think it's only been about six months. I don't know, though. I could be wrong. <laughs> what do I know? Wow. I just, I just show up on time every week. That's what's up. <laughs> That's true. It's 940 AM. This is dot com 99.5 FM. If you're looking to stream us from somewhere else, you could be anywhere in the world. If you have a friend that you think needs to listen to this content, you can tell them, hey, go on your... Your internet, internet browser, KHEARadio.com. You can download the TuneIn app, search for KHEA. There are all kinds of ways where you can listen to this content. One of them is through our Facebook stream. If you want to share this video out, I guarantee you, I promise you, there are people on your Facebook friends list who can benefit from the information that we share every Tuesday with Dr. Chapa. You can tag them. They can go back and, and access this information again as well. So let us let us know if you shared this video. Let us know if you have somebody in your life that you know can benefit from visiting Dr. Shoppa's office. And we'll get you connected to him. He's a great resource right here in the area. When is that event taking place on the on the 25th? Is that right? Yep, yep. so on uh, April 25th. And we're going to be talking about allergies and how you can alleviate a lot of these allergy symptoms. And we'll also talk to this idea of you know food intolerances and food allergies as well as your environmental allergens. Because if you do have rashes on your skin, itchy, watery eyes, if you find yourself congested in the morning, running, you know, ten, oh bless you, ten minutes. Oh, that's almost like was that rec pre-recorded? You would think. And and uh, you know if you find yourself in the shower, letting the shower beat on your sinuses, trying to get them to drain in the morning. You don't have to do that. And that's what we're, we're here in League City doing is we're giving people alternatives to drugs and surgery. We believe that all life starts and stops at the cellular level. And nutrition, guys, is the fundamental backbone that allows your body to either spiral out of control into symptom land or diagnose land, diagnosis land or to get, a, get traction and get a grip and start living the best version of yourself day in and day out, even in these aging earth suits. You don't have to pawn off aging as a bad thing. Why is it always drugs and surgery? That seems like it's all, like, seriously, I went for my, my feet. I was like, hey, my feet, this and that. They're like, hey, let's cut off your toes. And I was like, what? You know, it's not that bad, but, like, they instantly went to that was the answer. And that was the only answer. Well, if you think a lot about the the medical treatments, they are barbaric. I mean, we cut out gallbladders. Gall, the gallbladder is, like, still the number one, you know, prescribed surgery. And, um, I, I mean, we are into cutting things. And... <laughs> I'm not quite sure that 
were interested uh, in true understanding of the physiology as a whole. We've almost gotten so specialized uh, as a whole that we only know our specialty. And so one of the things that I always kind of, you know, say to myself and to my patients is I've just had to become a master physiologist and understand the internal workings of all aspects of the body as a systemic, systematic whole. And that's the difference between what we do in our office and what, you know, a lot of medicine is doing in, that are that are hyper specialized. You, you, you know, endocrinologists focus just on hormones, but they f neglect the, the idea that liver has a great play in the realm of hormone function or digestive function. You have to go to a GI doctor, but they can't help you with migraines. But yet most migraines are a digestive issue. And so we, we reach to, you know, symptoms that are in a, inside of a system of the body, but we don't appreciate that each one of those systems in the body are interacting and working. It's like, which part of the watch tells time? You know, Mandy just left a comment. She said, my son has two centimeters of intestines removed on Thursday. It's why we're here at Texas Children's Hospital. Um, she had Is mentioned- she gonna keep that in the jar in the basement as well? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Kurt. <sighs> so, what would be reasons? And I mean, Mandy may may share some more about that. She said something about short bowel, mm. I believe, earlier. Right. And so, in this case, he's going to have he has a in this case a surgical shift that has happened in the bowel, and we have to work with what he has. Mm -hmm. And you know, I had a lady that only had six inches left of her colon or something like that, and uh, and and you know the bypass and all that, and. And this is one of the reasons we use like liquids a lot of times. Mm -hmm. So we, we can leverage surface area everywhere because don't you, I mean, even though your esophagus isn't like the prime area where you're absorbing anything, don't you think, just like I spoke earlier about putting lotions and potions on your skin and it's absorbed into the tissues, that if we use something like a liquid cod liver oil or we use some of these powders, as it's tracking down the peristaltic wave of your esophagus, we could use that as an absorption factor. Anywhere we can get absorption to happen, and especially the little ones, uh, we have we have to change the game drastically. And whenever there's surgical intervention and things pulled out, where we lose surface area, you know, we you know we, he was designed to have all that surface area, but we just pulled a bunch of it out. And so we have to again deal with the fact that he has a surgical intervention, and we just work with it to the best we can. And and the hope is going forward we will use and need less drugs so less antibiotics for example would be a great place to start with this guy probably and and we we, we take out those uh, things because the flora is just getting bombarded with atomic bombs every time that stuff's put in the system and that alters the absorption when now you're creating malnutrition and now you're more susceptible to environmental shifts yeah one thing that i've noticed and you've mentioned this before and maybe you can share on it a little bit more you will work in conjunction with somebody else's medical, you know, uh, doctor as well. Yeah, because and, and this is what this this is probably one of my biggest pet peeves is when you know my patients go to see other doctors and then they they start you know pawning me off as the the bad guy right. when we're trying to create relationships. I mean, at the end of the mm -hmm. day, you know, how do you argue with food? Like you know, people that think that food isn't your medicine really don't understand meta uh, f the chemistry which is in the weird least. because you've heard you are what you eat for so long and you, i feel like they would even agree with you yeah. and then whenever it comes down to they're like well i don't know yeah exactly <laughs> exactly and so my job is to know what you're taking medically and what you've been through so that's why we do a, what's called a timeline history at our office everybody does it so that we can understand where you've been what you've been through and help you figure out why your body's breaking down and give you alternatives to how we can change the game and anything your body has developed. So it's a little challenging. I can't say that exact for people that have surgically lost things, but even then still, the body is so versatile and it will function better if you give it the right nutrition and you give it the right nutrition long enough and you don't put those inflammatory foods in. And so like in this case of the colon removal, he or she might have to live a different lifestyle than everybody else because they have a anatomical change in their chemistry. Mm -hmm. Like they lost anatomy, right? And and so if you have a symptom pattern that you weren't genetically born with like migraines or diabetes or heart disease that you develop later in life, well, good news is, does anything your body can develop, it can undevelop. 
Undevelop. That's right, undeveloped. <laughs> and so, you know, we just are firm believers that all life starts and stops at the cellular level. And nutrition is the fundamental backbone that allows <clears throat> life to happen. And we want you to know what foods to eat more of and what foods to eat less of. All right, Dr. Chapa, thank you so much for joining us today. Can you share one more time? How can somebody get a hold of you and why they should give you a call today? Absolutely. My name is Dr. Aaron Chapa. I own Living Well Clinical Nutrition Center, and Living Well stands as a beacon of light for alternatives to drugs and surgery. We want to give people tools. We want to give people resources. We want to teach you how to live well and be well one bite at a time. No matter what you're dealing with, whatever symptom pattern that you have in your body that you're not comfortable with, that you don't like, that you don't want, we want to encourage you to reach out to our office, 281-554-8600. Visit our website at justlivewell.com and take some of our health surveys and let us be a resource for you and your family's health and wellness needs. We believe that no matter what you've got going on, you can see a shift and a change, whether it's something extreme as, as cancer treatments or something as simple as a belly pain. And we just we, we know that we can support your body in a way that will give it a chance to fight the good fight, so to speak. So. Thanks, guys, for always having me on. God bless all of our listeners. Hope that you guys have a wonderful, fantastic, super califragilistic, expialidocious <laughs> kind of a day. Hey, it came out. I love and, it. And, uh, and I hope that you guys know that we love you very much and uh, thankful that y'all are tuning in every week. God bless. Boom. Hey, we appreciate you, Dr. Shaba. Coming up next is Unspoken on KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. Make sure that you stay tuned because coming up, we're going to be talking to Josh Edge on the phone about cruising. I think he's on a cruise right now, so there might be a little bit of a delay on when we take that phone call, but we just wanted to make sure we told him about 9.50-ish, so hopefully he's able to do that soon. And then we're going to be talking more about our cruise and then talking to Justin Gambino as he does, uh, as he's about ready to set on tour for his, I think it's called Hope Tour that he's doing, where he's going worldwide. It's the, it's the Greater Than Tour, isn't it? Hope. We'll find out all the specifics. All the details, all the details, yeah. Yeah, I believe it's the Greater Than, but he has some, some other stuff with, with Hope as well. And, man, it's exciting. Justin Gambino, he's awesome. Great musician. Um, looks like he brought his guitar. So, Kurt, I know you're going to be very excited to get this live in-studio performance. He I is amazing. He knows music. Hey, Dr. Chopper. Check it out. We'll see you soon. You awesome. We appreciate you. Hey, stay tuned. Have you shared the cruise giveaway video yet? It is dropped. I mean, a lot of people seem like they are interested in a vacation. Is that a good thing? Or like people are like, oh my gosh, I need a vacation. Or like, yes, I need a vacation. Or I just went on vacation. Let's go again. So if you haven't shared it out yet, do we have a look at it? Yeah, I have it. Ready to queued up. Let's watch it. Hey, take a look at this. This is Gardy with KHEA Radio. I'm super excited. We're teaming up, giving away a cruise. We're teaming up with your Vacation Edge, Cruise Planners, and Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. You're going to have the opportunity to win a cruise. All you have to do is like this video, comment on this video, share this video out so everybody can see it, and you can be cruising this year. Make sure you go like Your Vacation Edge on Facebook. Make sure you go like KHEA Radio on Facebook. We're teaming up, doing this giveaway for you. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, folks? Hey, it is Tuesday morning. We had Dr. Shop in studio. That was a quick look at the Royal Caribbean cruise giveaway that is going to be taking place. We're going to be sending someone on a cruise like soon. Give me some feedback. Is this something that y'all are interested in? There seems to be some people who are excited about it. If you're one of those, let us know. Maybe drop the cruise ship emoji if you're watching on Facebook. Um... I've never been on a cruise. The only time that I've actually been on a cruise ship is whenever we filmed that, and we were on there for a couple hours. We had a blast. It was so much fun. And I'm going to be honest. Before going on that boat, I really did not have that much interest in going on a cruise because it's just not something that I, I really researched or had interest in for whatever reason. But after going on that boat, 100%, I'm going to have to go on a cruise one day because 
all of the stuff that they have on there is so crazy. It's it's ridiculous. It's like, how did y'all get this all on a boat? It just makes no sense. And and now we're going to be giving one away. So thank you to your Vacation Edge. Thank you to Josh Edge. Thank you to Karen Edge. Karen Edge and the team making this happen here for us. We got Justin Gambino. The Justin Gambino in studio. What's up, man? What is up? Dude, how you been? Man, I've been great. I've been uh, super, super busy. Seems like it. Yeah. Getting hey, getting ready for the tour. I saw your April Fool's Day post. That was hilarious. Did you? With you know, I... <laughs> 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 okay, so I totally forgot it was April Fool's. I just did that just to be funny. Yeah. And then I realized like an hour later, I was like, wait, I did that on April Fool's. Like, it wasn't <laughs> even my intention to make it seem like that. Look at God. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, we're both kicking off our tours t- uh, this week. Yeah, and so he actually texted me because I was uh, one of the opening acts. He asked me to open up his album release show, which was awesome outside of Austin and Temple. And uh, so the photographer caught a photo, a photo of us where uh, he was like, oh, "I got to get a picture of you guys together before the show." Yeah, and uh, and so Whitley and I were just being serious or whatever, you know. And I was like, "No, you got to act like we like each other." Yeah, and so I was like, you know, just cutting up, and that was the photo that he took. <laughs> and so he sent me that photo yesterday. I haven't seen the photo since yes or until yesterday. And uh he was like, Hey man, happy tour week to you. Let's go win some souls for Jesus and and he sent me that photo and I was like I'm gonna post on Facebook and, <laughs> and very memeable. Silly. It's a memeable photo. That one could be it, shared with like so many different things on there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like like best caption gets whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So the the tour is starting, it's kicking off. Where, where are you going first? Yeah, so tomorrow night I'm going to be in New Caney, not too far from here, mm-hmm. at the Little Country Church. And then from there I go to Brownwood, Texas. And then from there I go to Ohio. And it, it's just going to keep on going from there. Boom. So Hey, I saw, speaking of Willie, one more time, I saw the behind the scenes in the video because you had shared it out Yeah. as well. That was really cool because oh. he came out singing like from the back. Yeah. Yeah, so I... Uh, I really that that was like kind of last minute planned mm-hmm. and uh and he was like he said, "Hey man, uh yeah, so I'm going to come out from behind the crowd." Yeah. I was like, "You want me to video it?" Like, yeah. Like do you like if you want me to stand back, like I'll just stand back." And he was like, "No, nah, man." I was like, "Well, I'm going to go live." And he was like, "Okay. Do it." Yeah. And so it was really cool, man, you know, just seeing that like I mean, we we've we've gotten to see and uh see each other like do do these songs like acoustically so like last year i did my album release party where i had a full band and and then like this year he had an album release party with a full band so it was really cool to see man just his music just like thriving on stage live with a full band yeah you know i've been hearing him doing it acoustically and so that was cool it was almost like uh i don't know for me it was like living it like right there as a fan yeah of whitley case well that's something that that we got to witness as just being you know, following you on social media and, and getting that behind the scenes that you don't get anywhere. Yeah. And then not being able to be there. But it looked like it was a packed house. There was a ton of people there. Yeah, dude. It was an awesome, awesome turnout for Whitley. It was it was epic. I, I, I was still on a high that night and mm-hmm. the uh the next few days. Like my drummer and I, uh we uh we we were the second opening act. Mm-hmm. And then I mean, man, the the energy in that room was insane. It was like a it was crazy. It was like a small stadium. Yeah. And because like we finished our set and people were just like stood up to their feet, like cheering and screaming and it was cool. So if that was every show, it'd be okay. It's like, hey, if this was every if, show. If this like, was every show, like, you know, this would be awesome. Yeah. You know? But sometimes you have those shows where it's like, you know, you get 20, 30, 40 people and that's okay too. As yeah. long as we reach one person each night. That's the goal, huh? That's the goal. Reach somebody. Sometimes it's like sowing a seed. Yeah. 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 Sometimes you don't even know if it's like, you know, someone taking pictures or, or videos at your show and then sending it to a family member and then all of a sudden they get something out of it. So Hey, hey did you see we dropped a video this morning to give away a cruise? You guys are yeah, I saw <laughs> you guys are giving away a cruise. Yeah. We actually are gonna take a quick phone call with uh one of the people on Karen's team. Aren't they on the cruise? They're on a They're cruise on right now. Cruise. I'm just confused like all How this. Does- how all this works. What's up? Yeah. Hey, Josh. Hey, we're trying to figure out how I can get the audio Boom. over to you. Yeah. So, yeah, if you're watching on Facebook, y'all. I mean, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and that's fine. I just want to give it a shot. 
Okay, let's try. You got a Bluetooth connected. We're going to Bluetooth this into the board, if we will. So if y'all will stay, stay a little patient with us as we uh, make this happen. It says I'm connected. The board's not a uh, boop. Oh, it didn't work. But who's interested in going on a cruise? Me. Have you ever been on one? No, my first one is going to be next January. I uh, I was asked to be the contemporary worship artist for what? a cruise. Oh. I can't remember where we're going, but doesn't matter. Doesn't <laughs> dude, I'm like when they asked me, I was like, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Are there any other artists on there? Yeah, there's a bunch of artists on there. I need to I need to look at the flyer again. And see, that's amazing. They, I got some flyers, some promo flyers in the mail and stuff like that. Is I'll, it just you, or are you taking your wife? They said I could bring my wife, and she's she's like all for it, one hundred percent down. Yeah. So the one we're giving away is the Royal Caribbean cruise. Nice. And there is like an entertainment stage. Yeah. And it seats a ton of people. So there's about two thousand people that that cruise ship that that we got to film on is going to take. But there's cruise ships to take like there's way bigger ones. So I'm not sure how big yours is, but think of 2,000 people. Like, you know, the potential of 2,000 people yeah. coming to watch you play. A, I think it's a carnival cruise. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. They they have, like, Carnival, Royal Caribbean, and then Disney. Those are, like, the big ones that we've kind of heard of. Everyone knows of. Yeah. Yeah. But the Disney cruises are fun. Hey, the Bluetooth, because it's a Facebook call, won't connect. Okay. So let's just do it on speakerphone, and I'll put it up to my mic, and we can talk to them that way. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, let's talk on, yeah, give me a call on the phone phone then. Okay. And then we'll go on the FM because it's 10 o'clock. On the phone phone. Yeah, give us a call. I like how Kurt talks right, into the, talks into the mic to talk to, <laughs> talk to the phone. There's certain things just like, just, it made sense when it happened in the moment, but yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be your first time to go on a cruise? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I get it. I don't know. I guess I'll find out if I'm, you know, if I get seasick. Do you tan? Oh yeah, I tan real easily. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't. I do not. Uh, <laughs> Kurt and I are, are doing this back and forth. Are we flexing? No, no, no. We weren't flexing. We're, we're, we're com just comparing. Dude, Kurt, we're comparing that, complexions. You got comparing that shirt on underneath, comparison. like you're ready to go on a workout or something. Um, yes. Is I'm that ready. a workout shirt? Like yeah, a I don't know. No, thing? it's like a warm, warmer Look, shirt. It's I like think. a. Looks like a little compression, like. Just ready to it smells like my laundry detergent. That's good. Kitty litter. Like <laughs> <laughs> the laundry, just pour a little bit of kitty litter in there, scoop and boom, just wash and good to go. It gets clean, right? Right. Kitty litter has that fresh smell, fresh step, you know. Does it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a, I've never had a cat. I'm not a necessarily a cat person. You know who is? Kurt? Oh yeah. Oh Kurt? yeah. You love cats? I love cats. You got cats? I have a cat. You have a cat? He's lost more cats than I've ever had. Lost more cats? He leaves the door open. I do not leave the door open. Well, they they break out. I don't know what it is, but you've lost you've lost some. They're just like they're wild cats now. Our neighbor, like Angleton. Our yeah. <laughs> <laughs> our, oh, our neighbor. Good job. Our neighbor has a bunch of cats that live under his house, and uh, every time we come down the road, they're like all in the road and stuff. <laughs> and uh, and my wife was like, was like, man, it has so many cats. I was like, it's okay. They keep the field mice and the rats away. Oh yeah, like as long. So as... they live under his house, not like in his house. Is yeah, he I'm a cat sure. man? Yeah, no. I, I think he just like just keeps the strays and he feeds, feeds them, them yeah. so they keep coming back. Yeah, they. Oh, they don't keep coming back. They stay there. Okay, well we ain't going too far. You know, one of my favorite cartoons as a kid was Garfield. Yeah. Did you get down on some Garfield or no? Garfield oh, yeah. and Friends. Garfield and Friends, and the real the 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 movies that they came out with. Oh yeah. I didn't see like the new ones, like the new movies, like the they yeah. recently come out with like in the past like eight years or so. There's like three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't get to see those. Did you? The oh, they were good. They were good. I saw the first one. Well, I'm a fool. The animated one. I need to watch them. You know, animated movie. It's, uh, this is a weird conversation. We, we go on tangents every once in a while. But Snoopy, the Snoopy movie that came out was really really good. I'm just waiting for Josh to call. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> I was just like, before we get into anything, I'm talking about a little about Garfield. I think we can talk about other things, and we can go on the FM, and, and then uh, when he calls in, if you want to, we can go from there. Yeah, maybe we can. You're always just kind of awkward whenever he pulled over, like, hey, and then we got to make it happen. I was like, oh, my head's about to explode. I know you got a lot going on. Um, hey, we got some Phil Wickham next. Dude, have you played? 
I'm sure you have, like Living Hope. Oh, yeah. That's a great song. Great song. Do you play I that one it. ever? No, the ones I do with Phil Wickham is uh, the classic uh, You're Beautiful. I love that one. Yeah. And then, um, uh, what's that one? I can't remember the one that he did. Watch it be Living Hope. <laughs> no, <laughs> You're like, it, wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't Living Hope. That song gets up there, though, like from wherever it starts, yeah. like, like range-wise. Yeah, sometimes he'll do a video and be like, I'm so sorry, guys, that I like I sing so high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a great voice. Yeah. What are you listening to right now? Uh, let's see. I've been listening to, um, you know who Ryan O'Neill is? Not yet. Ryan O'Neill, his name, he, he, he goes under like the name Sleeping at Last. Okay. And so he's from Chicago. And uh, and he 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 started getting really his career started taking off whenever movies and TV shows started um, started uh, picking up his music and so that's how I heard some of his music and now he's like been writing these songs on the um, the I don't know if I'm saying this right the the enneagram mm -hmm. like the personality types. The nine personality types. He's been writing a song for every personality type. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, it's like that's an interesting thought. It's super cool. It's, so, it's so what are what are some of the personality types? Um, like introvert, extrovert type type thing. No, like like it goes down to like the peacemakers, like people that are like like very like they like to investigate things. They're very like, I mean, it, but it comes down to like whether you're an introvert, or extrovert. It it kind of it kind of you know there's nine <laughs> personality types, you know, according to this study, and so. Like, it, it, you know, people say, like, oh, you're a number one or you're number three. Like, I think I float in between number three and number four. What would those um, be? But uh, so it would be like um, like an achiever. Um, I can't remember the other word. Is a dreamer one? I feel like a dreamer yeah, should be. Yeah, it's like a – let me let me look. Okay, here we go. Um, so I float between a three and a four, which is a uh, performer, motivator, achiever, producer, uh, uh Tragic, romantic, artist, individualist, melodramatic. Ooh. Um, hey, is there a place, some, somebody just asked this, where you can take like a, t like a test? You can take a test. How, where do you yeah. find that? Um, I think you can just Google it. Um, so there's one that's like a loyalist, skeptic, observer, thinker, investigator. Um, there's a boss, a leader, protector, mediator. So there's like... It's it's really crazy, and then it kind of breaks it down into like, into where it just kind of like puts it all together. Like, okay, well, you're more introverted, or you're more extroverted. That's cool. You know, we got let's let's go on. We got about uh, ten seconds, and we'll go ahead and go on right now. Here we go. Christian White, whoa, ninety nine point five FM, K H E A, Lamarck. Good morning. You're listening to K H E A Radio, ninety nine point five. FM, this is Kickstart. I'm Gardy. And I'm Kurt. We have Justin Gambino in studio. Very excited to have you back, Justin. How's hey, it going? Man. It's it's going great. I'm really excited to be here. Man, you have been so busy, and it's about to get even busier. A lot busier. Is that exciting? It's exciting, scary, um, all the above. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's I mean a ton of work goes into planning a tour, and then whenever it starts, like there's no stopping it. Like it's just it's like a snowball that you can't stop. The tour so. don't stop. No. And when no. you when you go on tour, you're going all over the world, right? Like you're going well, tons this of how many places are you are you hitting? Oh man, pretty much I, the I world. Have, I'd have to go to my website. Sometimes sometimes people are like, Whoa, "Where are you going to be at in Idaho or wherever?" Like, like you're going on a cruise, uh, and we said, "Where are you going?" You're yeah, like, "Yeah, it's like I don't know wherever we stop." And <laughs> <laughs> yes, speaking of cruises, have you ever been on a cruise before? My first cruise ever will be this coming January. So. It is. Uh, I've never been on a cruise. Where are you going? And I'd have to look it up. I'd have to... <laughs> he, he doesn't even know. He's like, well, I'm going on one, but I don't I'm know I'm going where. on one. I know it's a carnival cruise. It's cool. Yeah. You know what else is cool? That you guys are giving away yes! a cruise? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Royal Caribbean cruise. I think we have Josh Edge on the phone. We're going to share a little bit about that. We're very excited. Uh, you know, him and his team were able to make this possible. Karen and the team. Hey, good morning. Can you hear us, Josh? Hey, good morning. How's From, it going? Uh, Grand Cayman. It's going great. How are you? So you're actually on a cruise right now. We are. Karen and I are here in Grand Cayman looking at the beautiful turquoise waters. Okay. You have to forgive me because I am an American, so my, my geography skills are, you know, not the best. But so where exactly 
is that? The Grand Cayman? Is that what, it, what it, you said? Yeah, the Cayman Islands. It's uh, in the Eastern Caribbean. It's out uh, south of Cuba. Okay, um, I know where Cuba is. <laughs> yeah. Close to Florida. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, so, man, that video, did you have a chance to see it this morning? We did. It looks great. Yeah. We're, we're excited. There seems like there are a lot of other people that are excited as well. Yep. Sure. And I actually, Justin Gambino pulled up a map and showed me exactly. <laughs> and I, he showed me the map, and I think I saw you guys kind of like waving. It was like like real time. <laughs> Google Maps 3D. Yeah. So have you all had, like, partaked in the, in the buffet and everything? That was my favorite part when we got to go on the boat. Okay, no, we definitely ate our share of the buffet. So we're, uh, <laughs> we're, we're doing our average of one and a half, two pounds a day. How, oh, yeah, you're keeping track. You're keeping track. That's right? where you make your money back. That's, how, how many times <laughs> has Karen said that? Oh, Garden, you were very worried about that. <laughs> That's where you make your money back. You have to think about this. It's like, okay, it averages out to this much tonight. It's a steal. And if I eat like 600 you know, $600 worth of food every hour, you know, like I'm making money. I'm coming out on top. Right? Don't forget the ice cream. Don't forget oh, the ice cream. The strawberry ice cream. Oh, I have never seen strawberry <laughs> out of a soft serve before. Have you? No. No, it is the best. Hey, what's oh. the weather like over there right now? About 80 degrees or so. Beautiful. Sun's out. Part, partly cloudy. I don't know. To our left. I guess that would be towards the west. Uh, but absolutely beautiful. Did you sneak your drone with you? <laughs> Did not. <laughs> oh Did man! Not. We check check out our Facebook uh, our Facebook page. We'll have some great. Uh, we have some really good sunrise pictures this morning. Hey, if somebody's uh, listening right now, we came in. how can they find your Facebook? How can they find your website and social media? Uh, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash your vacation edge. Awesome! Hey, thank you so much for helping make this a reality. This is something that we've wanted to do for a while. You know, yourvacationedge.com. Cruise planners, thank you to Royal Caribbean. This is real, and it's almost surreal. I, I'm gonna drop a video. You're welcome, guys. I'm dropping a video later today talking about how all of the the moments in my life have led up to this moment, and this may be it. You know, <laughs> this is what I was born to do: <laughs> to work with you guys, work with Kurt, and have Justin here today and give away this cruise. So, thank you so much. Hey, okay, well, we're super proud to partner with you guys. We're having a blast. You guys are doing good things. All right. Hey, well, we love you all. Y'all have a safe trip, and we'll see y'all soon, okay? Thanks. Bye-bye. All right, bye. Boom. So that was a, a look and a listen uh, with our, our friends, the Edge Edge fam, Karen and the team, and cruise planners, and thank you to Royal Caribbean for allowing us on the boat and to give that away. Justin, you're going to be on a cruise as well, January. But yeah. there's some blank space to fill in from now till then. Can you walk us through, like, because you're not just staying, like, in Texas. No. Uh, let's see. So this month, I'm going to be in Texas, Ohio, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, um, Kentucky. Um, Are you singing the 50 Nifty United States song? Do you remember that one? Did <laughs> yeah, you? <laughs> yeah, I remember it. No, I'm not going to be singing that one. Uh, let's see. Next month, I'm going to be going international and going down to Oaxaca, Mexico. I'm going to be doing oh, a concert. you got to for- get the cheese. The cheese? The Oaxaca cheese. I've never heard of it. Yeah. I guess after next month, I will have heard of it and have tried it. So you're going to Mexico, too. Yeah. How did that end up happening? So about a few years ago, I met some missionaries in at their home church in New Mexico, led worship at their church, and then uh, here we are a few years later. They've been keeping up with me and reading my emails that I send out probably like every month. And uh, whenever I started booking the tour, they said, hey, would you consider coming down to Oaxaca and doing a concert for our, our Christian school or at our mission house. Oh, that's like, awesome. Uh, yeah, I would love to. So, yeah, so I'm going to be coming back from the east, the northeast, um, mid-May, about six weeks into the tour, and then uh, flying down to Oaxaca. Yeah, it's, it's like my birthday weekend. And so, and then I found out that, like, Oaxaca is, like, one of the most traveled to destinations, like, mm-hmm. the tourists travel to. Cheese alone. Really? <laughs> no, I don't know, but they have a Oaxaca cheese. Okay. Uh, yeah, and it's uh, the white, like, crumbled cheese that it goes on the taco. So there's a place called- I know what you're talking about. I yeah. love those. That's like, it. Like street tacos. Yes. Like the mini tacos. Mm-hmm. The Oaxaca cheese. There's a place called uh, Oaxaca Meat Market. It's like in Dickinson, not too far from here. And so we go there, 
and get nice. the tacos in the little taqueria that they have in there. It's right down the road in Dickinson. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to try that. You're gonna have to post some pictures to talk of taco when you're there. Like I'm in Mexico. These are legit okay. tacos. Forget what y'all heard. You know this is the real deal. Okay. Okay. So, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Kurt, I think we should send you down there with Justin to, to Mexico. We talked about. <laughs> I mean, this. you can go remote. <laughs> okay. So my 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 girlfriend is 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 Hispanic, and her parents actually still live in Mexico. And we were talking about how I probably never could go. To Mexico with her to see her parents because they would probably cut up my body and return me back because they're like we don't want him we don't want him here get him out of here because I'd be like I want queso yeah and they'd be like get out of here <laughs> they'd send him back Kurt's kind of like SpongeBob you know how SpongeBob's like eh, and he's kind of like a little bit much for people so like I could see us sending Kurt down there to get some footage and then they're just like nah so it's better to be SpongeBob than Patrick the Star. I don't know. Just, <laughs> SpongeBob has his own show. It's named after him. True. Yeah, that, that is very true. Yeah. Have you been to Mexico before? No. This, I mean, this is my first year to go international. So after May, I'm going to go to, yeah, after Mexico in May, um, in June, I'm going to be on the West Coast, July, West Coast, August. I head out to the UK for a week to do a festival out that way. And then I'm really excited to be spending a couple weeks with a, uh, with some veterans out in Colorado on be leading worship and one of their speakers at uh, at this veterans retreat in Colorado the is that, rest of August. Is that through USO? No, it's not through USO. It's uh it's a it's a place called Wind River Ranch. So it's like a um, I mean you can look them up windriverranch.com and they just provide a uh, they're a nonprofit faith based organization that provide a, a place for veterans, first responders to get away uh, hit the reset button with their family mm -hmm. and uh, just really have time to just focus on family and focus on God. And uh, so, yeah, I was there last year for a week. So this year I'm going to be there for two weeks. I'm really excited about it. Is this a vision that God gave you? Like, you know, traveling to the UK, Mexico, all over the United States. Did you see it coming to this point? Yeah. Yeah. I had dreams about it when, before I started like, well, right whenever I started pursuing music, I stepped foot in the studio when I like back in 2010. I was uh, 24, and like I mean, I've been at that time. I've been leading worship and playing the guitar since I was like 15. But you know, put it, some covers on YouTube, you know, fun stuff. You know, maybe led worship at church here and there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, 23, 24, I got back from I got back from serving in Iraq in the Navy and knew that God was calling me to do music. So I stepped foot in the studio, and ever since then, man, I, I started having dreams. I started having visions of like being on stage i mean what i remember is like being on stage um you know like stage lighting turning around and like there's just thousands of people singing these songs and um and i've just i don't know man it's just been put it's just put a fire in my heart and i've just been really really chasing after that and seeing where god will have me and where where he wants me to share these songs of hope and it's been amazing to see him open these doors. Yeah. Just, I mean, it, it, I don't know. I can't even, like, I, I, I put on Facebook the other day just because, like, sometimes I'll just have these random thoughts. And, like, to think that radio stations around the world are playing my music right now, like, or just, you know, certain parts of the day, like, blows my mind. You and know, I think I still take it for granted sometimes. We play your music, and we you sent us some voiceovers where it's like, Justin Gambino, and you're listening to my new hit single, <laughs> blah, and it's awesome yeah. and i heard it the other day as i was driving down the road and i was like ah oh, justin <laughs> those came through okay oh. i i haven't i haven't heard them <laughs> yeah the only thing that i'm wondering because i know there was supposed to be one i was like you're listening to the greatest radio station in the entire world my favorite radio station in the entire world i love guardy that guy's awesome this is justin gambino on khea radio i was listening for that i was like going through them all and I was like, man, maybe that one got lost. I don't know. <laughs> it didn't export correctly. We, we might need to. He uh, sent it to me, but delete I deleted it. it. So that way you could never see it. And they I, never made it on the air. I could see a voiceover. It's, uh, and, you know, and then like, yeah, Kurt in Kurt's voice <laughs> edited over. And I was like, oh, that's weird. <laughs> Justin's voice sounds different there. <laughs> but I don't know. I have to recut some and, and send them to you. Oh, yeah. Before we get to the next subject, I just have to say Justin Game. Uh. Hey, Siri, play Justin Gambino. Hey, Alexa, play Justin Gambino. What does that do? It plays Justin Gambino. 
Oh, well, that's cool. I was <laughs> I was staying with my uh, with my cousins about a week ago, in, out in Hill Country, Central Texas, and uh, and they were listening to uh, Amazon Music Unlimited, and I was messing. I was like, Hey, Alexa, <laughs> play Justin Gambino, and she starts like, she's like, I found some music with from Justin Gambino, and then they were all joking. They since I was sitting right there, they're like, Hey, Justin Gambino. Play Justin Play Gambino. Justin Gambino. <laughs> I figured well, okay. <laughs> All right, let's I'll pick up that. the guitar and do Man, this. Sometimes I'll tell Siri just to play music, and I don't know how she knows me so well. But And I know, I guess it looks at the history of stuff you played. I'm just like, man, that's a song that hits a spot. And even finding things that I've never heard of before. But really? just like knowing what you listen to, and she'll find find things that I'm like, man, this is the jam. Who is this? And like that's downloading crazy. the album. That's crazy. Siri gets I me. Don't, I don't have Siri set up on my phone. I just never really got into using Siri. Yeah. And the other day, I was in the car, and my wife told me something. I said, are you serious? And Siri was like, Ding. yes, I'm serious. <laughs> she said, yes, I'm serious. I was like, what? Wow. Crazy. You should set up Siri. It's it's actually like once you get used to using it a little bit, I mean, sometimes you can be, I can probably be obnoxious with it, but like in my car, like if I have it plugged up in a way, I'm like, hey Siri, play some music, or hey Siri, play Justin Gambino, or hey text text mom, text my wife, you know, and what do you want to say? I love you, you know, and it's like bink sent. It's so cool, you know. It, I'm about it, to try it. It's, it makes life a little bit easier. So shout out to technology, Apple. Send us some free iPhones. Okay, yeah, that's all. That'd awesome. be awesome. <laughs> this is KHEA Radio, ninety nine point five FM. It's Kickstart. We're gonna be on until eleven a.m. We have Justin Gambino in studio. We told somebody the other day, actually yesterday, hey. Justin Gambino's coming in. They're like, are you kidding? That's huge. <laughs> We're like, man, that's awesome. Really? He's like, y'all have Justin Gambino coming in studio. I'm not I'm not joking. That's cool. And they were they was were very Kurt? excited. No, it wasn't. <laughs> you, well, it was Kurt. Too. It. Me, no, it was, me too. It was Kurt and somebody else. <laughs> so, but it's really cool. Um, you well, know, cool. you were talking earlier about, you know, the visions and the dreams that God gave you. Is there anything else you can share about those? Like exactly what is gonna happen? Like other things that that are going to take place, you know, and I see those as almost like his promises, you know, that Absolutely. God has, has given you those dreams that, you know, Hey, I can't even th- imagine that that has to come from somewhere else. Yeah. Well, for me, like, I just know that in my heart, if I wasn't doing what I was called to do, which is music, like, I mean, I'm just so passionate about it. I know that if I wasn't doing this, I'd be in sin. And that's really what keeps the fire under me, man. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want to be in sin. Like, we're all sinners. Like, we all mess up. Like, myself included on a daily basis. But what it all comes down to, if, if we're if we're answering that call, then I think it's uh, the most important thing we can do in life. And for me, whenever I started, whenever I started having these dreams, like, literally, I'd go to sleep, I'd have this dream, I'd wake up, and it's like, it's like it really happened. Like, I was in the future seeing this happen and um didn't know how i was going to get there but i knew that if i just listened to his voice and stayed true to who i was be humble um that he would take me there in his timing it's been hard it's been tough it's been a lot of work i mean you guys know running a radio station is not easy <clears throat> it's a lot of work lots of work yeah. you probably work you know? harder than we do um He's like, yeah, well, that's well, obvious. Maybe. That's obvious. <laughs> you know, um, I was going to ask, oh, man, it, it kind of slipped my my head a little bit. Never mind. I wasn't going to ask that. Okay. I had a really good question for you. Think about it. <sighs> Dear Heavenly Father, bring back this question. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not now. Maybe not five minutes from now. You're going to remember at 11 o'clock, and I'll be did like, you not have your bang show. today? No, I did. I had my bang. There it's it just is. gone. Oh, okay. It's just gone. Are you into energy drinks? No. You know what I've been doing recently? Hmm. The last week and a half, I've been doing these morning cold showers. Oh, I was going to guess P90X because you look jacked as ever. You walk in here, I saw you carrying your guitar case. And how do you stay fit on the road? Is um, it cold so, showers? <laughs> no. Uh, I watch what I eat when I'm on the road, which is really hard. You know, um, 95% of the time I'm staying with friends, family, and so like they want to cook meals for me and... I'm like, and usually whenever I get to their house, it's like after the show. <laughs> Bless you. It's after the show. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I late. heard that. Did you sneeze on the radio earlier? Oh, yeah, you did. Like I was driving in listening. It was, the, it, was, it was the funniest one because I was on all three of us, 
and I'm going like this, and I hit the preview to program button, so it didn't show up on air, but you could see me like going like this. But and didn't then Doctor like, was like, he's like, bless you. Oh, yeah, he was like, <laughs> I heard it. I didn't. You didn't see it, but you still heard it. No, That's yeah. so funny. Everybody, I, Kurt sniffs a lot on the on the mic, and I'm just like, dude, you're dri- there. It is again. You're driving me nuts. You're driving me nuts. <laughs> it's those allergies. We're gonna get them out. Yeah, Jesus, may be healed. Yeah, cold showers Man. in the morning. That probably gets you going, huh? Helps you wake up. Well, it helps me wake up. Um, as far as fitness, I only do body weight exercises. I used to do before I got into music. I actually was really into bodybuilding. Okay, which is where I get like most of my like my build in my shoulders. Um, but then I stopped doing that whenever I started pursuing music, just couldn't do both. Um, and so, yeah, man. So I like run a couple miles a day, a few days a week. And then I probably do, let me think. I do about 300 pull-ups and 300 dips and a bunch of pull-ups like a week. Did your military background kind of give you that base for like that body weight and just staying in shape? Yeah. So, like, I started really getting into shape whenever I was deployed to Iraq. Like, I mean, that's what we did. Like, we did our missions, we did our work, we ate, slept, and we went to the gym. Was it easy to be a Christian? Over there, yeah. overseas? Yeah. I would say it's, I mean, you, I mean, whenever you find yourself closer to death, you find yourself closer to God. At least it was like that for me. You know, I mean, there was days like whenever we would get like indirect fire, we'd have like, you know, we weren't sure where the missiles or the bombs were coming from. And uh, it came to a point where I was like, I'd be like shaving in the showers and I hear the bombs flying overhead. And I'm like, Lord, eh, if it's my time, it's my time. Yeah. We keep shaving. People are running to the bunkers, you know, and it's like, like, wow. Lord, I know you got me. You know, so for me, it was, it was, um, I don't know, just. I mean, it was easier to be like, hey, you know, I know that God has got me while I'm over here, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I never, I never, I mean, for me, like, I, ne- I never really encountered anybody overseas that was like, oh, no, like, I'm not a praying man or I'm not a. Everybody at that point oh, seemed gosh. to start praying and believing him. Yeah. If, if they didn't before, you heard him praying then. Yeah. You know. Well, that's, but. that's, that's really interesting to think about, you know, because Whenever you're near that in that near death experience, or you really need something, and you're crying out. It's like, if you're there, you know, if you hear me, if you're real, I've I've seen that. But you know, to have that all the time, you know, to try and keep that relationship is is the goal. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, like for me, like I did music before I got in the navy, mm-hmm. and then um, whenever I was in the navy, and and uh, like I was over in Iraq, God was like pursuing me, like calling me to do music, even whenever I was over there. And not focusing on music. And so uh, God opened a door for me to lead worship at the base in wow. Iraq. Wow. So you had a guitar there? No, I, I called my dad and I said, Dad, you know, I mean, it's like a 15 second delay. It's like, hey, Dad. You know, <laughs> yeah, you no wait way. Like he's like, what? 30 seconds to be like, <laughs> hey, son, you know. But uh, I asked him to ship my guitar to me and uh, it took almost a month to get there. Wow. But it came in and then I started leading worship at the chapel on the base. Yeah. And uh, so. Like, even whenever I was over there, like, not really pursuing music, not really pursuing my calling, God was, like, still pursuing me People relentlessly. Probably, they appreciated the music, too, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my buddies on bass, fellow, fellow, you know, soldiers. So, yeah. Wow. This is KHEA Radio, 99.5 FM. It's 1026 AM. It's Kickstarter. We're going to be on till 11 AM. We're talking to Justin Gambino. He's about to embark on... On his tour, a worldwide tour. Yeah. It's going down. Tomorrow's day one, right? Tomorrow's day one. We tried to, we were going to try to have him on tomorrow for day one, but... I remember you, that. We got you in today. We got you in... Hey, today starts the tour. Right here at KHEA Radio. That's what's up! Hey, this is day one of the tour. The worldwide tour. It's not stopping till like... Not October. even like January. <laughs> like, October. Because you're going on the cruise. There's all kinds of stuff, man. Yeah, man. The UK, this is nuts. And you're you're playing in October back here in your hometown, right? Yeah, I I, I confirmed some dates at a, a local venue down in Lake Jackson at the college, and so I'll have some more information on that. Um, it's either going to be October fourth or fifth. I don't know yet.
Cool. And I, I heard the people who are going to be emceeing that, that concert are, are pretty cool dudes. Yeah, yeah. They're these guys that uh, <laughs> run this really cool radio station called KHEA Radio. Sounds Ooh. awesome. It sounds like a great <laughs> radio station. Yeah. Hey, Justin, um, I did come up with that question that I okay. remembered. Okay. Okay. So earlier you said we were talking about, oh, somebody asked it, Justin Gamino's coming in, and you said, oh, yeah, it was probably Kurt, right? Am I your biggest fan? Like, am I president of the fan club? You can be. Yes. You could totally be. You know, after watching the movie Selena and knowing Kurt's personality, I'm going to recommend, uh, Justin, that you just <laughs> don't allow that to happen. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, I, I never saw it. Well, let me just tell you that the president of the fan club, it didn't work out. You know, it's just not a good thing. So, <laughs> and Kurt, so he's just one mistake away. You know, just, wow. Just, you know, snap it. You know who the other really big fan of of Justin Gambino is? My girlfriend, and really? I saw that she just said that she loves your hat. So, oh, thank you. Where you get the hats? Is it like Justin Gambino hat supply dot com? You start know. your own hat company. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I get my hats from uh, shout out to Hatman Jacks in Wichita, Kansas. Um, so I, that's where I get my hat. So every time I'm performing in Kansas, I usually make a stop at uh, Hatman Jack's, and that's where I get my hats. What is it about that place that kind of drew you in? Did you stumble across it? I stumbled across it, and uh, for me, like I always wore um, like you know the fedoras I would find at like I don't know random random like yeah. Dillard's or sure. J.C. Penney or Ross or whatever like whatever I found. And I found out that those cheaper fedoras would just, I mean, they would almost crumble and droop down when they got wet. And these, uh, re- they really sold me on this one because uh, they said, no, th- this is the type of hat that you pass down to your grandkids. Wow. Like, you can crush it. You can sit on it. You can pack it away in a suitcase. It, you take it out. It's going to pop back into place. And, you know, as long as you own it, you know, you can bring it in here. We'll reshape it for you or whatever it needs. And it's made out of beaver. <laughs> That's crazy. Isn't that beaver crazy? fur? Beaver. That's the secret probably why fur. it can get wet. You think about what a beaver does. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know, I get so many compliments on this hat. I'll be in New York City or wherever. I mean, I was in uh, Abilene uh, last week performing at a university, and so many people were like, man, I love that hat. Yeah. Like, what is that made out of? Beaver. They're like, no joke. It's like, yeah, I feel it. It's, do you tell people where you get it? Yeah. People okay. always ask. Can what are you going to do yeah. whenever everybody like has your same hat? <laughs> Would you be like, hey guys, okay? Get that on the what? Video. Get that on the Holy! Video. Kurt's this filling is, this beaver hat. This is the weirdest feeling hat that I've. <laughs> You're so weird. No, Kurt. It's so this different. Is, <laughs> this is KHEA Radio, ninety-nine point five FM. Oh, the hat does feel smooth. Hat yeah, man, doesn't Jacks. that feel weird? Where are they located yeah. again? What state? Wichita, Kansas. So I'm actually going to be performing about 30, 40 miles north of there. Mm-hmm. And my wife asked me yesterday. She's like, "So are you going to go to Hatman Jacks this year?" I said. I'm performing 40 miles from there. On like, purpose. Yeah. yeah Only 30, 40 miles away. When they away. contact me, like, hey, we're in, you know, Newton, Kansas. Looked it up on the map. Oh, that's really close to Hatman Jacks. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So, hey, go check out Hatman Jacks, and you can check out Justin Gambino on tour. What's your website so somebody can see where you are going to be? Super easy. JustinGambino.com. And that's the best way to find out where Justin's going to be. You can sign up for maybe your email list and some other yeah, things, Yeah, right? right whenever you go on there, it, it's the first thing that <laughs> pops up. It'll pop up and give you the option to follow the journey, enter your name number and social security number, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, just email address and first name or something like that, and, and then I'll send you updates and let you know where I'm going to be and what's happening on the road. I just I, There's a graphic uh, on the screen if you're watching on our Facebook page. If you haven't done so already and you're listening on 99.5 FM, go and check out our Facebook page. That's K-H-E-A Radio. We also have Instagram and YouTube. But uh, the graphic is showing the, the new single that you have going under. Oh, yeah. It's one of a really good song. You just released a video. And uh, it's got, you know, you can get it on Spotify and iTunes. How, just tell people how they can get in contact with you. Yeah, so um, just, I would say that justingambino.com would be the best way to contact me. Um, there's a contact page on there. Uh, email justingambinomusic at gmail.com. Um, there's actually a number on my website you can call, text, um, if you need prayer, if you want to book an event, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah.
That's cool. Yeah. How many people are on your team, like the Justin Gambino team? Who makes this this dream and into a reality? Um, I would say that I have three people, including myself, on my team. Mm -hmm. But I also have um, a, a, like a closed Facebook group of uh, like uh, prayer warriors. So like whenever something's going on, on the road, like so, I mean, there's times whenever I post publicly about what's going on mm -hmm. whenever I'm on the road. But there's times where I'm like, I really don't want the public to know about this or certain thing and it's like okay like especially whenever i was like in the first stages of like recording going under like i didn't want to announce it yet publicly yeah. and i was just like you know just really praying for wisdom on what i should do and so like i had like a closed facebook group where i would like post my dad actually runs that little group on facebook where that's awesome people pray for me for specific things you know um, one of the coolest things about your Facebook, first, you have a ton of, of followers. You post great content. It's engaging. But whenever you have so many people that like Justin Gambino, yeah, there's like top fans. And there's little badges that yeah. become available. That's new. to that's Well, that's fairly new. It is. It, do I, you I, have one? No. Kurt, do you have a badge? Not yet. That's what I was going to say earlier. I need earlier. a top fan badge. Whenever he was, you have you to can't earn be president. it. You can't be president until you get that badge. See, I, I wanted to bring that up. everything. Do you really? I tried to. I commented yesterday. Well, you don't comment enough because you're not one of the top fan badge people, but you got to earn the badge, and I, and I guess you have to do it in a way that is organic and natural and just be engaged and share, and then you can get one of those top fan badges. That's pretty cool. It's neat. Yeah. And people, they're probably pretty proud to have that. Who's oh, our I'm, top fans? Do we can we see that as KGA? No, you no, know, because we don't have enough followers. Yeah, I don't know. Really? How many followers do you have on Facebook? Um, a little over seventeen thousand. Yeah, so we have six thousand two hundred something as of like maybe yesterday. Maybe it's a certain point. Maybe like a ten. So that'll be our next. Well, it look. seemed like it did. The top fan thing didn't pop up on mine until like I was above fifteen thousand, if I remember correctly. Okay, so fifteen. That I mean that I don't quote me on that. But that's but what when you maybe remember. That's whenever I started noticing like the top fan badge so the other thing that we've noticed is that their share or like badges like even on stream now like i'm looking right now so becky she shared she said i have one so she's one of the top fans and there's some other people uh lorena garza who was in yesterday we're going to be at freedom call this friday share so i love that because it shows who shared they have content top, right now a top share on khea radio yeah that's cool but no top fan not yet not yet. Not yet. Soon. It's That's gonna cool. happen. We want to get on the Justin Gambino level, and then because it's oh, interesting to see. It's cool. Yeah, it is cool. Yeah. So, how did you get so many Instagram? Like Instagram? Are you on Instagram? Actually, I, I am Facebook on Instagram. Followers. I am on Instagram. I have a little over a couple thousand on Instagram. Okay. It's not as like I don't have as many followers on Instagram. What do you post more on which platform? Um. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty equal. I mean, between all of them. Like, if I'm posting it on Facebook, I try to update my Snapchat stories, my Instagram stories, and my Facebook stories. Mm -hmm. Like, all with the same. Especially if I'm posting stuff. Wait, um, you have Snapchat? I do have Snapchat. It's Justin. I? I think it's underscore Gambino. I mean, That'd be fun to right see right now. Me too, because like on the road, I want to be able to check out the behind the scenes. And Snapchat's almost like that first person view. Yeah, it's almost like you took the video or took the picture yourself. Yeah, and there's, I mean, you can't help it. That's just the way it is. So I'm looking. I'm just searching Justin Gambino and seeing if anything. Oh, yeah. Did you do it? Added. I'm is it go, underscore? I'm going to go add you back. Be yeah. careful. I post a lot of weird things on Snapchat. Do you? Are you going to judge me? No. Okay, good. Then, then it's Kurt, okay. Kurt, there you are. I add you. Kurt Ghost. Do you get the reference? Guardy. Add. That's do you me. get the reference, Kurt Ghost? Because my uh, last name is Casper. Ah, I got it. <laughs> oh, man. You know, there's there's a song called The Casper Slide. Did you know that? I don't know. Can Guardy you is a Tiger Party Party? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a band. Cool. Have you ever seen his music? No. It's Tiger Party. Yeah, but we haven't. So, yeah, I grew what? up playing music, and Tiger Party was my band, and we haven't done anything in, like, in years just because everybody's kind of, you know, it's it's hard. I mean, as a solo artist, I'm sure it's hard as well but especially whenever you're playing with like three or four or five other guys and everybody's like man we've been doing this for eight years you know or however long in different in different forms and and everything but yeah so tiger party tiger party party at gmail is my email and so like sometimes it's just easy to just do tiger party party because I, I like it yeah and yeah it's easy i didn't remember. know that yeah but you 
Bass or drums? I, yeah, I played bass okay. and sang. Okay. Yeah. So maybe when we MC the event in October, Gardy could bring his bass and maybe you guys could do a little <laughs> song together. I'm down. I thought, oh, yeah, I'll just, yeah, that sounds fun. I'd do it. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else, and I was like, where is this going? Okay. That was a good one. <laughs> no, it is. It he is. He's like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> no, I thought he was going to be like, Gardy can bring his bass and sing, like as a solo artist. I'm like, that's the worst <laughs> idea ever. Like, there's no way. But yeah, if, if, if I could play just like one thing and then be like, okay, cool, I'm done. You know, step away. Yeah. You know, bring, up, bring up Gardy just for like one song. Like, <laughs> yeah, hey man, learn this, this song <laughs> on bass, and we'll bring you out on this song, and Sweet. then you can play. You know, one of the things that I saw uh, on your on your Facebook was, you know, we talked earlier off the air, off of uh, the FM about Casey Whitley. I always want to say Wheatley, and that's not right. Wheatley? Wheatley. Um, and <laughs> tell him that next time. That'd be hilarious. It, the H is actually before the W. So it is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Hitley. <laughs> Hitley. Uh, and uh, I saw he had his big like celebration. He had the news out there, and you were out there. What was that concert like? Because I would have loved to have gone, but it was a little far for me to drive. It was on. amazing. You sh- you should have just emailed me or I-, I don't know, like messaged me on Instagram or something. Be like, hey man, you got an extra seat in the van? Really? Come I would have totally brought you and your girlfriend. Oh, that'd be awesome. Next time. Next, Next time. time. Next time. <laughs> No, After it was tour. it was it was awesome. He had it set it up. He had it set up real well. We had like this big old green room area that was access to the stage, the backstage area, then the stage, and uh, it was cool, man. You know, usually, not usually, but sometimes you'll do a show and people want to sit in the back and just kind of like observe from the back. Um, so like a church service, <laughs> yeah, like a church service. Sometimes. Especially if your show is at a church, <laughs> right? You know, you got the people that like come and they got their usual spot and they're in the back. And you encourage people to come into the front. And they get there early, too, which is the weirdest thing. And they, like, got yeah. the row, and it's in the in the back, or, like, yeah, but it's <laughs> yeah. interesting. Well, these folks, man, the people that came in first, they were in the front. Boom. And it just filled up from the front all the way. The and back. he had standing room up against the stage from what I saw in the pictures, right? Yeah, or was some that... people were standing up. You know, yeah. that may be one of the benefits of doing it somewhere. I mean, there's, there's a benefit for doing it in a church because there's built-in sound, and sometimes, you know, the facility is awesome. But out of that comfort zone... Then people don't have like, hey, this is where I sit. It's where I always sit, you know. Yeah. And the venue was was perfect for that. You know, yeah. everybody, I want to be in the front. That's what I did for the my album release party back in April. So almost a year now, I had it at the college, um, where I'm going to have my homecoming show at at the end of this tour. And uh, it just like for me, like I want everyone to feel welcome to come. You know, mm-hmm. some people like we had this conversation I think last time I was here about being a Christian artist. You know, and doing Christian music or what that's like. What what are the struggles in that? And for me, like I want everyone to feel welcome whenever they come to a show. I want to reach as many people as I can. And if there's people that probably don't want to come because it's going to be at a church, then I want to do it somewhere else other than a church. You know, and uh, I want I want to I want to reach people that usually don't go to church. Mm-hmm. And that's all right. Like I want to reach people that. Um, I want to reach the lost, man, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> I want to reach the lost. I want to reach people that, you know, that, like, for me, like, I've been in a place in my life where, like, I, didn't, I wasn't going to church, you know? And there's there was places that I was, that, like, if I was if I was here in this place, like, I would appreciate if that happened to me. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So. Did that happen? Was there, like, a point where maybe you weren't in church and... How did you get re- reintroduced? Did you find that yourself, or was it like an invitation to a concert or a service? Um, no, it wasn't an invitation to a concert or a service. It was, uh, it was uh, for me, like, it was right in my living room, man, whenever God got a hold of my heart. Like, I mean, I was baptized and saved at an early age and then left that whenever I was a teenager. And then whenever um, I actually, like, I, I mean, if we're going to get real, like, 23 24 years old i came back from iraq i was dealing with like anger issues i was dealing with um um i mean just all kinds of sin in my life man partying drinking hanging out with the wrong crowd and like i just realized it's like i can't do this my whole entire life what is my calling what am i supposed to do and i knew that music was a big part of my life you know kind of behind the scenes like i wasn't really pursuing it publicly um, but, um, man, God just like really grabbed my heart right there in my living room and I fell on my knees, dude. And I was like, I can't do this without you, God. Yeah. Like, I know, 
I know I have a foundation in you, but whatever that looks like, I need you to build on it. Do you think there's a way that we can get young people to avoid that path? Because I know that a lot of the time is the case. You know, maybe I grew up in church, you know, raised, saved, baptized, started speaking in tongues, you know, went to a Christian school, kind of the same, the same thing, you know, and then I'm just like, well, you know, moving away to do whatever. And then you just end, end up on, on the wrong path, even though you know what's right. But for me, you know, I have kids, you know, and I want to make sure that they av- avoid that. You know, how do we reach this generation that's coming up now? Maybe to show them, man, you don't have to do that. You can just keep living, living the right way that you know you're supposed to. Yeah, I think, I think that's a great question. And I think it all comes down to intentionality. I think it all comes down to intentional relationships and <clears throat> mentorship. I think, you know, it's really important to be like, hey, you know, like I have a mentor, but are you mentoring someone else? Mm-hmm. Are you mentoring someone that's younger than you? Because if you've been poured into, then like that, we, we weren't created to be poured into and then to keep just retain it. Like, the reason why we go to church is to get filled up so that we can go outside the four walls of the church and pour into others. Mm. Like that's the whole reason why, why we go to church. It's, I mean, it's the huddle before you execute the plan. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. And so, um, you know, recently, uh, uh, we were at, at church, we were in this series about mentorship. So we were talking about Elijah and Elisha and, um, you know, and one thing that they were talking about or the pastor was preaching was like, if you're being mentored, but you're not mentoring somebody, that needs to change, because like we are building up the the wisdom that we are receiving. Like we need to pass that on to the next generation. Um, so I really think it comes down to to mentorship and intentional relationships. You know, it's so easy for us to get so caught up in you know social media or to text someone or to message someone on Facebook to where like. It's really not all that intentional. Mm. So for me, like sometimes I'll call a friend. Sometimes I will call someone and, uh, and they'll be like, why, why, why'd you call me? Why you could have just texted me. I want to hear your voice. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? It does. And so for me, it's, I think it really just comes down to being intentional. You know, do you think, I don't want to say the word sin, but like if you're being poured into and you're not pouring into somebody else, it seems like that would just be kind of wrong. You know what I mean? Not necessarily like a sin. I don't know. I've been there. Yeah. I've been there. Um, for an example, yesterday, I had a lot going on and I really didn't have the time to go see my nephew off to the army. He swore into the army yesterday. Mm-hmm. He, like, last night was his first night in boot camp in South Carolina. And you know what that's like. I know what that's like. Didn't have the time for it. I was dropping off my van at a shop before tour, and uh, I was like, and my wife really encouraged me. And um, hmm. so shout out to my wife, my beautiful bride. She was like, you need to be there. You need to be there to see him get sworn in and see him off. He really looks up to you. And that like was convicting. And I was like, so I've, I've been there like where I felt convicted, you know, I was was like, man, I'm getting poured into by other people, but who am I pouring into? And so like, I was like, you know what? I'm going to be intentional about this. So like I got an Uber, (laughs) which was my first Uber ever. And I got over to the MEP station on San Jacinto in Houston. And I mean, I waited, we waited there for like two, three hours before we got sworn in and uh it was so awesome to see my nephew like get sworn into the army give him a hug and wish him well do you remember the day that you were sworn oh yeah i was in that same room it was in the same room that's so i'm sitting here and i'm like yeah and that was 14 years ago crazy Hmm. that's gonna be something he probably remembers for for the rest rest of his his life. life yeah yeah wow yeah is that where some of the inspiration for some of these songs Come yeah, from. I wrote a lot of my music, especially my first album, because my first album was six years in the making. Um, like I wrote a lot of music when I was still in the military, because I was up in the military up until 2013. Wow. Yeah. How yeah. many years were you in then? Eight. 
Eight years. In the Navy. In the Navy. 2005 to 2013. You know, we were talking to a band the other day, Rolant. They are from, you know, the Clear Lake and Houston area. And um, they, they play rock. You know, they're like okay. a rock, a Christian rock band. But we were talking about, you know, first albums, how that's your, your life's work almost. And you have, you know, six years, eight years. And then next time you turn around an album, it's like, okay, or at least it's two years or you start writing for it. And so it has that been, how, what does that journey look like for you since you had, you know, six years in the making and then it's like, well, I got a single, you know, I got to do this. Well, I wrote a lot of music during those six years. The first six years I started pursuing music. So I would say that I'm probably sitting on like another three albums mm-hmm. of content. So it's just a matter for me. It's just a matter of like, I want to continue to write and get into the habit of writing and schedule writing sessions to where I'm, I'm always creating new content, creating new songs, but also it is a process of deciding which songs are going to be on the next project. Yes. So, and so usually for me, like the songs that I'm going to be releasing next are ones that I'm performing on the road. Like, so for this year, my worldwide tour that's about to start, I'll be doing songs, I'll be doing new songs. And I'll kind of get people's feedback on these songs. Mm -hmm. And if people are like being ministered to with these songs, then I'm like, this song's going to go on the album. I'm not going to tell anybody that, but Mm -hmm. this song's definitely going on the album. Because I've heard like so far three or four stories about how people are like, man, this song really inspired me. That's interesting because usually that's a different way of thinking because sometimes it's like you'll, you'll take it to, you know, the producer. The producer will listen and be like, hey, these are your best songs. But for you taking like these are the best songs that have ministered to people. These are the best songs that have connected yeah. to change people's lives. That's how I do things. That's awesome. Yeah. That Yeah, that's not normal. Hey, uh, right now it's 1048. Can we hear a song today? Yeah, what do you want to hear? Kurt, I did bring my guitar. I want to hear your hands and feet. It's my favorite song. We're going to play Going Under at 11 o'clock when we, when we end the show. So I... I know that's your newest one, but we'll play that on the FM, the yeah. recorded version. But I love. And you your... want to hear "Going Under," or I'm sorry, uh, "Your Hands and Feet." That's my favorite. You want harmonica or no harmonica? Harmonica. Who harmonica? You want harmonica? Sure. Is that possible to do both guitar yeah. and harmonica? I did bring it. Yes, let's okay. do it. Kurt's like, it. wait, do you need <laughs> me to play harmonica? <laughs> Can I play your harmonica? This is like a dream come true. A dream come. All right, so right now it's 1049. We do have Justin Gambino in studio. He's getting prepped, getting ready. We're going to hear uh, a live version of one of his songs here today. We're also going to be playing his brand new single, Going Under. If you haven't had the opportunity to go download it, make sure you do that. Justin Gambino, Going Under. Go to iTunes, support a local musician, a local artist doing big things. And you know what? Now you can say, hey, you know what? I had Justin Gambino's album whenever he was about to go on his worldwide tour, you know, before he was playing stadiums every night so this is an opportunity for you to look really cool in the future that's just like a little spoiler spoiler alert so you're welcome (laughs) so yeah justin gambino's in studio make sure you share this video out if you have any questions for justin maybe you want him to come to your town come to your church come to your your stadium your city whatever it is hey let him know reach out to his team you can go to justingambino.com sign up for his email list reach out and let the people know where he needs to go next if it's in Kansas City, maybe you'll have the opportunity to go with him to the uh, go pick up his next hat. Yeah, and get one yourself. Yeah. So here he brought the he brought the tailor with the koa, the koa wood. Is that the same one you had when you were in the military? No, the one I had in the military was a really cheap jasmine uh, by Takamini guitar. It was like a hundred 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 and twenty five dollar guitar. I was gonna say because I would I would have been would scared not, to ship. I that. would not. <laughs> I would not weeks. ship this. <laughs> oh man! I have I have a Yanni or or sometimes it's called a Laurel. It's one of the two. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. He does. I love it. That's the only reason why I got the guitar was because it has it's a Laurel good good gu- 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 guitar. Yanni, and it's either Yanni or Laurel. Do you remember yeah. that? I remember that. It's okay. Like the whole dress thing. Yeah, it was yeah. like is the dress blue? And then there was sneakers one. It was like are the sneakers like teal or are they? I can't remember what the other color was. I always Only the reason why I bought the guitar, I don't even play it. It Lonnie. just sits there. It's a Laurel, Lonnie. so I can tell that joke. Laurel, <laughs> Lonnie. Yeah, so here we go. Hey, this is Justin Gambino, and uh, let's share a little bit about the song, and then yeah. just go into it when you when you want to. The, um, the song, Your Hands and Feet? All right, so my pastor at the time, every Sunday morning, was uh, at the end of his sermon, was saying, hey, when you leave these doors, go out and be the hands and feet of Jesus. When you leave these doors, go out and be Jesus with skin on. 
And I knew that God was calling me to do music full time, but I was still staying really comfortable at my job, at my day job. And um, for me, like I kind of describe it as like feeling the thumb of the Holy Spirit in the center of your back. Like, hey, you're not doing this. And so for me, it was like a very uncomfortable position. It was a very uncomfortable spot in my life where I knew that I was not answering the call at 110%. I was just given like 70 or 80. I was doing music here and there, leading worship here and there, but still staying comfortable at my job and not really stepping out in faith. I really think that, you know, whenever you do something that um, God calls you to, I think... uh I think it's going to be uncomfortable. I think it's going to be unknown territory. And it's kind of like jumping off a cliff and building a plane on the way down. Mm. So you just don't know what to expect. You just one bolt at a time. Yeah. So um, this is a song that I wrote a, wrote from that experience, those feelings. Um, it encourages me often to be the hands and feet of Jesus. And it's my prayer that it encourages everyone that hears it. Take my hand and take my heart Guide my steps to where you are Because I feel so far I feel so far I look to you in times of need But where am I when you need me To be your hands and feet I will follow you, my friend I will follow you to the end in my darkest nights, you'll be my light. In my darkest days, you'll shine the way, Lord, to where you want me to be. Like you spread your arms across that tree, I spread your love you gave to me to be your hands and feet. Your hands and feet. There are times when I lose my way There are moments when I am led astray Away from you, yes But the rain washes away my footprints so I can let go of where I've been and remember where I am. I will follow you, my friend. I will follow you to the end. In my darkest nights, you'll be my light. In my darkest days, you'll shine away to where you want me to be. Like you spread your arms across that tree, I spread your love you gave to me, yes, to be your hands and feet. Your hands and feet is what I'll be, I'll take you everywhere with me and they will realize that it's not me they see in my darkest nights you'll be my light in my darkest days you'll shine away lord to where you want me to be yes like you spread your arms across that tree I spread your love that you gave to me, yes, to be your hands and feet, your hands and feet. <laughs> If 
I seek and find where I belong. I'll become your hands and feet. If I seek and find where I belong, I'll become your hands and feet, God. If we seek and find where we belong, we'll become his hands and feet. If we seek and find where we belong, we'll become his hands and feet. Awesome! That's Justin Gambino in studio, a live performance. That's a live look, some behind the scenes, a little of the harmonica action. Kerr, what would you think? This song leaves me speechless every time I hear it. You're going to have to learn the harmonica parts because whenever we go for like his welcome home show, maybe you can be like, Justin, I got this. And he just like, you know, bum rushes the stage. and just... Super easy, man. You should do it. Man, that song leaves me like it just takes everything out of me, like wind wise. Um, you know, I, I've I had to think today, but your song had been in the top five of my all time favorite songs. Like yeah. that hands and feet song was in my top five. My number one song was Black Balloon by Google Dolls. Okay. <laughs> um, today I am rechanging my number one song of awesome. all time oh. to Justin Gambino. Tiger yeah. Party. Your yeah. hands and oh. feet. <laughs> it's happening right now. So from here on, till you go. till you release a new one or I, I find a new song, you have now officially replaced Black Balloon as my number one all time favorite song. Appreciate that. Man. Live on the radio. You know, if Facebook's listening, they're probably being like, "Okay, that's one extra check towards getting one of the top fan badges." Yeah, that's. They're That's one step you. closer to the president. Oh, yeah. That, that fan club president? Yeah. <laughs> I almost teared up listening to you sing. Like, it, that's how powerful I love that that song. I, I saw, uh, so, yeah, somebody said that's my favorite song currently fangirling in the gym. Like, that's that's, that's how I feel like whenever I hear you fangirling in the gym. I'm Even though he's here in, in the studio. gym. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Who who said that? My girlfriend. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's I, cool. You know, it's it's my prayer that. That whenever people hear my songs, whether it's over the radio, whether it's over their, you know, iPhones or whatever, whether it's on Alexa, play Justin Gambino, <laughs> whether it's live, you know, in a studio or at a church or at a festival um, on tour this year, what what my prayer is, is that these songs would take people on a journey. And Je whenever they come back from the journey, that they wouldn't be the same Jackie Gomez was also somebody who said, this is honestly my first time hearing about you, Justin, but wow, you are good. Singing is definitely a passion of mine. So That's people awesome. are tuning in just now and That's all of a sudden awesome. get blessed. So That's thank awesome. you so much. Yeah. Thank can you. you share one more time how somebody can stay in contact with you, how they can follow you? What's the best way for somebody to do that? Yeah. So um, the best way is at justingambino.com. There's a contact page there. And then there's also ways to find me on Facebook, Instagram. Um, you can email me at justingambinomusic at gmail.com. And uh, especially when you go to justingambino.com, um, you can sign up for my newsletters. I send out weekly newsletters when I'm on the road. When I'm off the road, it's maybe like once a month, once every two months. Um, but yeah, so like newsletters are like an awesome way. Email newsletters are an awesome way to, to just stay up to date with everything that's going on when I'm on the road, especially for the next six, seven months. Going to be yeah. busy going to be busy. Hey, well, we'll see you soon. Thank you so much for making time for us. Thanks for having me. Hey, coming up next is some Justin Gambino going under. This is a brand new single. You can listen to it on KHEA Radio. Request it. Hey, if there's other radio stations and you you listen to them as well, make sure you call them and tell them. No, don't just tell them. Demand it. There you Say, go. we need Justin Gambino on the air. We need him to come in studio, do an interview, play his music, so that way we can get it everywhere, all yeah. in unison, and we'll time it out. So it'll be okay. At 1130, everybody play Justin Gambino. Think yes. of all the lives that will be touched. I know. Amazing. This has been Kickstart. Hey, go watch that cruise video. Like, share, comment. We're giving away a cruise on our, on our KHEA Radio Facebook page. If you're listening on 99.5 FM, you're awesome. Thank you for taking the time to tune in. This has been Kickstart. Coming up next is Justin Gambino, Going Under. Hey, this is Justin Gambino. Brand new song, Going Under, right here on 99.5 KHEA Radio. Have you given up hope? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Facebook. We love you. Bye, guys. <laughs>